today. Had some tragic defeats and some brilliant victories. We got Yato here with me. How are you doing today? Excellent, man. Good to finally be commentating with you. Absolutely. I got my boy Pari Pariadox. Yes, sir. Yes, Pariadox. Guys, you will never believe how we first <laughs> met. Okay, so <laughs> what happened was uh, Texas Showdown was yep. just two months ago, right? And we met in the same hotel or Airbnb hotel room, right? <laughs> and we played some games against each other, only for us to realize this guy was my round one. Yep. <laughs> it round was the funniest opponents. thing ever. And, uh, you know, tournament happened. I'm not going to say who won. I'm not, I'm not going to say who won. But uh, I got smoked. It's yeah. okay. But, I own but that. Ever, <laughs> but ever since then, I know it is going to be an absolute honor and a pleasure to commentate with this man. First, we're going to have Ooey Gooey Chewy Snicker versus his opponent. And we're going to get right to the side top eight. This is winner's side, ladies and gentlemen. So got here we go. The, the unknown OD Anji, just the classic. Everyone knows to fear Ui Gooey. And Yinja here on the May, it yep. looks like. Going to be getting in. What's our round start options going to be? Uh, it's going to be a button check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's going to be our round start option, actually. So, easy, easy, uh, yeah, again, this, this is going to be winner's semifinals. So either, either player is still going to have a chance if they lose. But I'm sure either of them would love to get into that winner's final spot. Absolutely. So we're going to see. Winner of this going to secure that top three spot. Absolutely. Definitely going to be a battle. Love to see a May here in top eight. Got some pretty good character variety from what I've seen. Oh, yeah. I, in I, over. I believe everyone in this top eight plays a different character, I nice. if, if I remember correctly. Yeah, definitely going to get to see a lot. The new May stuff, I think May is really, really fun this season. Mm -hmm. Really interesting mixes. The side swamp kind of uh, safe jump stuff that you can do off jumping off a dolphin. Always super interesting to see. We'll get to see what yep. these two. And how, now, at, after that button check, we're finally going to be getting it right into it here. And here we go. This is going to be Strive Top 8, winner's semifinals, Ui Gooey versus Yinja. Let's get it on. There we go. Aggressive round start with the parry versus the dolphin. Already getting things started with a blast. Yep, and Yinja doing, making sure not to leave himself open to getting hit by the spin. As we, as we all know, that move has infamously been buffed to all hell. Yep. But still, uh, we finally get, finally get them opened up right here. And there's May Bombos coming in. You got to be so afraid of these May combos. The burst early from both characters. Both these characters honestly just do so much damage. Good defense here from Yinja. But does finally get opened up right here. Yinja's finally in the corner. And no Wild Assault or meter, so there's going to be no knockdown. We're going to see it, how Yinja uses this 50 meter as well. And still, even with that 50, oh, actually, no, they just went ahead and burned it. Not going to be the first round, unfortunately. Well, classic. IDJH, every Strive player's best friend and worst nightmare. And then here we go into the second into the second round. Yinja, once again, trying to not to leave himself open. But, yeah, even fight because of the fish move, even, like, moves like jabs or 5Ks, even, like, you just can't use them to poke yep. against Anchi anymore. You don't have that safety, and Gooey Gooey taking big advantage of that. I like, like the burst bait attempt there. Didn't drop the combo either. You see so many players give up rounds nowadays to trying to get these burst baits. This damage is going to be scary. Not going through the wall yet. A reset means one more interaction is all that Ui needs. And, oh, a bad guess, a bad gamble on the, on the up dolphin. That's going to be game one. Going to Ui Gooey, who is the favorite of this tournament, yep. but that does not mean that Yinja is out of this by any means. Still. Absolutely. Those seven golden letters coming down there. I mean, sometimes the scariest thing you can do in a fighting game is just nothing, right? Yep. Ui Gooey just stood under the timer, waited for Yinja to throw out a dolphin there, and had the proper reaction. Trying to jab that uh, beach ball out of the sky. A little bit tricky on the timing. Here's the fish. Going to give you some oaky situations. Yep. And uh, has 50 meters, so any hit right here is probably going to be convert, gonna be converted into a huge combo. This very well could be. Does not convert properly, though, actually. I think he was just a yep. little bit far from the corner in yeah. order to convert that into a kill. Yeah, needed the close slash there to get the conversion, but still in a very, very healthy spot. These Karas on the spins are looking crazy right now. I think that with a super confirm, Yep, that's going to be the be round, getting. absolutely. Uh, so Yinja currently about... Practically three rounds down right now. They yep. need to go ahead and find an answer because Ui Gooey is in full control of this match. But still, like I said, and we're going to round two. Both characters are matching resources and a mutual detect throw on the <laughs> round start. He needs to try to call out the spin, but no, yep. no dice. The double throw on round start. Very scary option. Got to be careful, though. Now May is in the driver's seat. Any straight counter hit could mean imminent death, even for someone as tanky as Anji is. Yep, and then there's the, there's going to be going to spend the 50 meter in order to get this wall break. Thankfully, Wild Assault does mean he's going to be able to get this knockdown. Ninja does have 50 meter, though, and uh, almost a full burst meter, so they got plenty of defensive options. But, and there we go, the back dash into the 5 H's. I catch him. Wild Assault, we need to see a full combo. And, oh, I think he, mix? that must have been a misinput. And here we go. 
super and going to go ahead and confirm this. But Ui Gooey with completely full resources. So this is going to be a tough round to take even now. Yep. You can do just about anything in this game with a 100 meter. Getting caught on your backdash is not what you want to see. We are going to find a little reset here. YRC. YRC right back. Stay down in that corner. Still a little bit of meter just yeah. getting his bent here, Ooh, but that's a big Ninja does hit. get caught by the 5H, but, but, but North Bay has to burst out. We got one more chance on either side if they want to take this round. And the 5H catches it. Nice. So Yeeja finally with a round on the board right here yep. in this winter semifinal. Absolutely. Looking a little bit scary. A little bit of frame trap action there. Round start spin once again. Ui Chewy Snicker been RPSing around that. Yeah, spin. and has the corner position, but then gets the throw. We're going to see some butterfly OP right here. Yinja does not block the low, but it's, it's okay. Oh. He got caught. The back dash caught by the Nagiha right there. And are we going to have a reset? Oh, use it to deflect shield to make the space. And how did you get out of the corner? Here we go. One more interaction here for Chewy. Looking a little bit scary. Red RC ah. just keeps dispensing the lows. Yeah. Honestly, is like, hey, I see you're fuzzy, and I understand what's <laughs> going on here. You think I'm going to tap dust after this RC? Yeah, that ain't happening. Yep. <laughs> and but So Yinja taking a moment, as, as you probably need to. You know, you, the winner's final spot is right there. Top three is right there. So we take a moment to breathe as we now are going to go into this final, or potentially final game, sorry, yep. of the winner's semifinal. Gets a no nice counter hit to us into a knockdown, and the pressure is there for a little bit. But now we're back in neutral right here. Trying to find anything. It's Fujin versus Dolphins all day here. Trying to skip neutral. But when everybody skips neutral, nobody does. Bursting out early. Yep, and now we have Ui Gooey once again in the driver's seat right here. The overhead is not blocked. And some stagger pressure is actually eating away at Ninja's, uh, bur or, sorry, tension meter. Yep, right there. Honestly, big shout out to Ui Gooey. Sending it on the overhead with no meter is a crazy option. Oh, but yeah. Maybe able to lock the game out because of it. It, and, but yeah, full confidence on his end. We're going to have a big counter hit on the Wild Assault. What's going to be the option? Ooh, backdash is not called out. And 2S, is Ui Gooey going to burst this? Actually, yeah, he does. Yeah. He's going to spend it. He wants this round really bad. Yeah. Knows that Inja is just one hit. Oh, we have a, no, a drop. Hey, eight, but unfortunate drop. And the, uh, the backdash is once again caught. These backdashes yep. are killing Ninja right now. Yeah, really good stuff. Ninja locked down on the fact that Ui Chewy Sticker wanted those two Ps just to finish off that last little bit. Anji's 2P is such a powerful button, but found so many counter hits because of it. Nearly through the round, but with this red RC, we're off to a good start for match point here. Yeah, th and thankfully no knockdown on this wall break. Ninja does have almost full burst, so but with the positive bonus on Ui Gooey's side, this is still going to be tough to come back from. There's so many defensive options on the board for him right now. Oh, and yeah, has the burst right there. Ui Gooey does not bait it and spins kind of basically right through the 5H. This could be the round. He's got full resources. Does he convert and wrap it up? Yeah, and he does. I believe that's going to be the set right here. May does have big guts, but yeah, that's going to be it. A 3-0 for Ui Gooey Chewy Snicker. Really right good there. stuff. Had the wherewithal to get that 100 meter spent, locking in that final little interaction. Just honestly... What do you expect? Yeah, that you, is yeah. that's the unknown OD Anji. If you aren't completely locked in on that Anji matchup, <laughs> it is it it's a it's a struggle. This yeah, is one of tough. the scary ones. Mm -hmm. And again, Ui Gooey is the favorite is the favorite for this tournament. So we're gonna see if whoever is on, whoever else is on the opposite side of the winner side is gonna be able to yep. respond to this. But still, looking Absolutely. very strong as they go into this top three. Yeah, winner side. First round of top eight, getting a 3-0, it puts you in a really, really good spot, puts you in a happy position, moving into that winner's final. Yinja still going to be here with us, moving down to loser's quarterfinal, going to be fighting uh, the opponent to be determined here. Yep. But we're going to be getting Cavite versus... Uh, an Anis? Anis? I'm, I'm, I'm going to call him Anis. Anis on yeah, we're going to call him Anis. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. But big shout-outs to everyone who's been putting this show together so far today. It's been an awesome event. Yep. This is one, honestly going to be one of my favorite yearly events. I missed out last year, but super happy to be here. Next set with Zarwardo been putting together the whole thing. They've been kind of at the top of everything, getting everyone taken care of, making sure all these stream setups are nice and running smoothly. HXC as well for providing the stream setup here today that we are on currently. Yeah, positively. This is actually going to be. This is actually my first time commentating at a re at a regional. So yeah, yeah. every everyone who is watching, you are seeing this live as Yato's <laughs> first commentary gig begins. Witnessing history, if yes, you will. witnessing history. <laughs> and so next we have Cavite, who I, is going to be on the Testament, I believe, and Anis, who I. If I remember, if I remember correctly, is it going to be on May? So oh, I lied May. about the whole thing about every every character. I mean, honestly, I think be two unique. May's in top eight. It's so rare to see May's nowadays. Oh, definitely. And uh, I mean, I have some personal bias as a uh, former Testament player, mm -hmm. uh, at former as of like a week ago, you know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but Testament is such a cool character. Doesn't get a ton of top eight representation. Mm -hmm. So maybe Rocky, yeah, def definitely though. tough in this meta. But still, uh, yeah. Capitan making it happen. 
uh, in this regional. I'm um, yeah. going to go ahead and move it. Yep, Testament made, just like I said. And we're going straight in. We're no, barely any time between sets here in the, win sure. in the winter semis. So Testament what? May has some really cool interactions for sure. There's a sp couple of specific oh, check. situations. Okay. Yeah, we'll be doing some button checking for sure. Make sure at home, if you're here at a, at a bracket, check your buttons. You never know. Some people put some crazy stuff on those button bindings. <laughs> and uh, But Testament May has got some really interesting stuff. You know, Testament's one of the few characters that can actually, even if May does the jump off the dolphin, you can still 6P them mm -hmm. with that uh, slightly privileged 6P. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The less, the less I say about Testament 6P, the better. <laughs> the less I say about that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, listen, it's it's the best part of your kit. You got to use it a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, that, be finding that six, you, they definitely paid for that 6P, so it, just, it should be good, right? <laughs> been, it, it should been be good. paying for that 6P for a couple seasons at this point. We yep. need some buffs for other. You can take the 6P away. I would love some other situations. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now. <laughs> be careful what you wish for. That 6P pays, pays, for, pays for rent. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right. But here we go. The button, the button check is concluded. Yep. We're going straight into it. Cavite versus we're going to call him Anis. Here yep. we go. Anis and Cavite, round one, Testament in May. Both players starting off pretty aggressively. 6P going to be whipping out oh, here. Yeah, Already we see. seeing that getting <laughs> Yep, <used. laughs> we were just it's talking about it. That 6P, oh my goodness. I mean, that 6P could be such a potent option in the uh, May matchup in particular. Lots of 6Pable options, although May has a lot of really good stuff to slide underneath that. The 2S, the 3K. Right now, the stain proc confirmed. Ooh, actually, Ooh, actually. getting caught on the safe jump here. Mm -hmm. And not to mention, uh, both players choosing to hold on to their burst for round one. Like, you saw round stop. Ooh, oh, whoa, no, whoa, whoa. Too high oh, for the no. The Nostrovia does not connect. Be finding something. Throwing out the Grave Reaper's Ooh, preemptively. Oh, the 6P again. Nice call out on the fake safe jump there. The Grave Reaper wasn't quite low enough to actually connect. Tap, dust, red RC, and no burst comes yep, out yeah, holding it. Yeah, both players it. still holding onto their burst for the entire round one. That's very surprising to me. Nostrovia coming out just barely whiffing and getting that round taken away is a tragedy. Nice Arbiter sign. Been playing some more patient zoning here. 5K Oh, what a hit confirmed from Anis. Oh, no. Oh, but a backdash, okay. Um, Cavite not out of this, but still, the damage gap in between the characters you can clearly see is very vast as we've only gotten two touch, and Cavite is already in their last legs for this first game. Yeah, absolutely. Getting a little safe jump action here. The Testament Reversal Super is available, but that 2K basically works just as well. Ooh, runs right past the Arbiter sign and chooses to burst. Once the round, they got plenty of, still got plenty of meter to work with right here. Jumps right over the crows. 6P, once again, we're going to see that move so many times. Yep, and going to be using the Wild Assault. Getting the final confirmation. No, YRC out. This would be such a tragic mm. drop. Oh, no. Two drops from Cavite cost them that game. Yeah. That's very unfortunate. That situation, I mean, you're trying to set up the fireball to get the Oki situation, and but the YRC just shuts down your game so effectively in there. And just, I mean, the tap does from this May into the Red RC confirms. Yeah, absolutely. Needs to be reacting to that, but they could be have 60, you know? <laughs> yep. Fishing for some 2Hs in the neutral situation here as well. These stain procs are going to go a long way, but do scale the combo pretty effectively. Oh, Ooh. we got mix. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. We had a teleport, but I think they hesitated a little bit. Um, oh, six, wild 6H. And are we going to burst? No, not quite. We're going to choose to hold the yep. quarter position as yep. Anis finds the 2K, and we are finally going to go ahead and burst on both ends. 50 meter on both sides as well. An arbiter not blocked. The crow and is trying to dash block their way in, but Cavite playing super active knows that's all I want. And we have a throw. Okay, but full full resources on Cavite's side. Yes, we. Oh, but the YC is baited, but no punish. No, but you get a counter hit immediately after, and that is going to be enough to seal the deal on this round. Yep, Anis yep. is looking really strong here. Yeah, and that, this that, is that, that was a super close first round, but still, Anis is going to come out with a victory right now. Cavite setting up Stain once again. Uh, Anis still dash blocking their way in, but does get clipped by the far slash, and we're going to have a knockdown. This far slash range is so pivotal for the Testament, especially when that Stain is applied. Been fishing for some two H's here and there, trying to get a shimmy here, but unfortunately, no. Plus two has the option to RPS a little bit, finds the confirm with the Nostrovia, yeah. and this will be getting the kill on the board here for Cavite. No drops yeah. this time. Yep, finally putting one on the board. Um, yeah, th that first game was a little bit threatening, but still, Cavite keeping their composure right now. So we're going to see another stain. And is still trying to just dash block their way in, but again, Cavite playing super active to try and make sure that every single run is checked. Yep. Micro walk back on round start. Almost non-negotiable in this matchup. That May 2S and 3K are just too scary of buttons. Speaking of which, getting hit up by one right now. Backdash is the close slash. 
a and brave option. Yep. Oh, actually, actually, milk capitates burst. So actually, he's not gonna be able to. He's not gonna be able to get out of this combo right now. As we're gonna see a wall break. No knockdown, but still, that's significant damage right now. Both characters probably on one touch right now. Cavite with a meter advantage is what I would say, but because positive bonus is in there. Yep. So, ooh, does not oh. confirm off the counter hit to us. So this is pretty scary for either player because now and and is. You know that we've been talking about the 3K, so like yep. even one straight hit from that could be the round. Absolutely. This is looking kind of scary right now, though. Stain is applied. Any stray hit will be either a ton of positive bonus. Uh, okay, both players look like they're trying to farm burst right now. Try to bait it. Does not, but Cavite not biting the bait. Gonna get a throw. This Wild. is it. Wow. And sees in underneath the 6H just to get that throw for the finish. Burst safe as well. Yeah, really good stuff from Anis. Anis with the mad patience of a Buddhist monk right there. <laughs> Just making sure they can finally get that last hit in with the grab to seal the deal. And now it's up 2-0 um, if in this winner's final. Or when he's semis. Yep. Sorry. There we go. Stain is a pride. We're trying to get some, once again, that far slash 2S range is just proving absolutely pivotal. These Grave Reapers, the H Grave Reapers, aren't catching enough, but they are giving you a little bit of plus frames. 6 going to trade here but get you to run some offense. Yep, and there's the 3K trying to force their way in right there. Cavite recognizing this and gets the 6P. We're probably going to see an Astrovia conversion. Yes, we are. I don't think this is going to kill because yeah, Maze Japanese. But, uh, <laughs> oh, now, oh, no, no we don't get another drop. But it doesn't matter, Ooh. thankfully. That okay. Is, that's a scary situation. A lot of that damage happened away from the wall, so you didn't quite get the wall splat there. Trying to go for a 2S round start didn't quite work out. Scary. Gold, gold burst. Gold if you're going to burst, it might as well be golden. And we are going to have some a little bit of a conversion right now from Cavite. But still, Anna's playing super patient, but then gets clipped by the far slash. Nostrovia coming in. Cavite could be earning that hard knockdown. We'll see what the mix is. Could be a safe jump. Could be a little micro dash into the Arbiter. Yep, welcome to the casino. Getting that fuzzy block timing down. And it's still doing a really good job of dash blocking, and I think the, the reason they're content with that is because May's May damage is so high. So, yep. uh, yeah, here we go. 3K. We're going to see what the conversion is. Cavite's got no burst. It's probably going to be a conversion into nothing. Uh, okay, never mind. Unfortunately. Oh, got a nice punish as well. Red RC wants the burst so badly. And, and then finally does get it. Anis on their last legs and gets clipped by the Crow. Cavite finally on board right here. The fake out with the neutral Crow, getting the anti-air at full screen. Who needs a 6P when you got a Crow to do the work for yep. you? Why anti-air with your 6P when Crows do it better? Here we go. <laughs> Succubus is down, but up in the air, not going to do you too much good. The backdash getting caught out by the Dolphin. Will Clash cancel situation. And, oh, on yep. fourth. Yeah, okay, so the, the Destrovia going to go here. straight through because of the burst. That really sucks for Cavite because now they're in meter penalty as well. Yep. Oh, and the 6H, that's huge. Oh, that's no. really huge. He's going to get caught by the, caught by the uh, Roman Ketzel for the burst bait. Yep. And now that's so much damage on Cavite right now. No meter through the wall, though, so we do have some opportunities to get back into the neutral scenario. Very plus on that stain frock. It is time. It is make or break. But honestly, Anus has been so locked in on the neutral situation, blocking all these arbiters. The fuzzy timing is so on point. The 3K comes through, and there's just nothing to contest with. Yep. Now both characters. Now both characters. Cavite with a slight amount of burst advantage, but still, um, now they're on an uphill battle because this is their uh, winner's life. Or we're sorry, winner's back in life. Yep. <laughs> It is the battle, the backdash into the 2D. We're going to get a nice little confirm here. We're going to get a lot of meter as well. Yep, and, now, and now Anna's in the corner with Stain on them as well. More plus frames from the vertical from the vertical Grave Reaper. And just trying to make sure that they play patient. Doesn't want to get clipped by the 3K, wow. but guess what? <laughs> that full screen 3K coming in, hitting the hitbox. Nice RC. Finds a good little conversion here as well. Back to that full screen scenario. Needs one more Stain proc. Um, they do have full meter. Are we gonna get an anti-air? No. Oh, but the 5 H. This is one last hit for Cavite if he wants to. If they want to stay in the winner's bracket. Here we go. One mix here is all it takes. No stain applied, but. Ooh, look, look, look at the fake outs with the five Ds too. So disrespectful. Oh, the stain proc. <laughs> nice. That's gonna be it. Does eventually find the 6 P. Yeah, that 5 P at full screen is kind of a tricky situation. You know, it's a <laughs> fast enough button. And, uh, you know, it could be a dropped input on the Crow, but a lot of times it can be a frame kill as well. So you do have to respect those. 
Yep, and now we're getting into the final round of Game 4. Anna still... Oh, look at the counter poke with the 2S. But still, making their way in very slowly but surely. 3K finally finds yeah. its mark. And this is going to be a bunch of damage as they have full meter. Oh, but the back dash isn't caught. This is a scary situation. Anis is starting to lock in on some of these counter poke scenarios. Knows you can just wait for that far slash and get it. Nice mix here off the stain, though. And actually does not burst Cavitate into the corner. So uh, we're back at mid-screen right now with Anis with the stain on them and finds a jump in. Does oh. not convert with the Wild Assault, but... We finally get it done with the Wild Assault into a Red Roman Cancel. Beautiful stuff. Finding the Wild Assault just to get enough of that meter, you know. Dropped a little bit on the mix there, but a beautiful match between these two. Testament and May both slugging it out. That will be yep. Anis moving on into the winner's finals. We'll be moving on into the bottom side of the bracket here at Kansas KO. 2024. Yep. As Yipe says, there's 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 just gonna be the winner, the winners and the learners. You are gonna see Cavite again in the learners bracket. So for sure. Yep. <laughs> But well, I, I always hated calling it the loser's bracket, you know, because these players have played so hard. They've won so much and done so well just to get here into the top eight scenario. Oh, yeah. It is, uh, I mean, it's always a beautiful thing. I always call it the bottom bracket, the hell bracket, whatever <laughs> you want to call it to save a little bit of face. Yeah. But we're having a great time here. Make sure you guys follow the channel here at HXC and make sure you check out the start.gg at start.gg slash Kansas KO to follow the bracket along at home. Everything put on by the Wichita FGC here, partnering up with the Wichita Melee scene as well. The Smashers and the FGC players all coming together for this wonderful event. Three Over 300 entrants this yep. time. Yeah, very, very um, yeah it, it, guys, if you can come out here, please do. Like I, The room is a little smaller compared to most like you know major venues, but still, this tournament has been absolutely lit. Yeah. I've come in, it, it, I believe it started up last year, and I was there too, yep. but still, this year has proven to be even better, especially with me on the mic. <laughs> <laughs> the so. vibes have been immaculate. You got Yato on the mic. What could you more possibly ask for? Absolutely. I'm Paradox, of course, and we are here in Wichita, Kansas. We've got so many great stuff to shout out for you. We got WSU Esports, who's been sponsoring the venue and doing staff catering. Specifically, shout out to Joe Squeegee for the WSU Esports squad, bringing us some, uh, I mean, honestly, the staff stuff, I don't know if you got any of that pizza in there. That that <laughs> saved my life. Oh, today. yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I, I, personally, I personally get hangry. Like, I can't play when I'm hungry. I can't commentate when I'm hungry. So, yes, the pizza was a real boon. <laughs> so, yeah, the, the, they've been hooking us up. Especially got, this, got, me this, got myself this free T-shirt as well, which is always cool. Yep. So, yeah, gotta the Kansas love, KO staff. I love the Kansas KO merch. If you can find it, you can get it. It's uh. It's I, I, this is one of my I wear this shirt so often actually <laughs> I wear it to FGC events all over just in case people are like oh that is that Kansas KO like what's yeah. that like what yeah, event sir. is that this the is one it. the one and only the yeah. one and only we've got some Eno and Faust locked in for our next match this is a very interesting match yes and I, I believe we're gonna start off with a button check again yeah but that's okay you know these players are fighting for their top eight life especially because now we're in, like I said in the learners bracket so yeah it's both players making sure they don't have any input errors very important stuff. Always check your buttons because yep. a catastrophe can happen if you don't. What a homie move, giving your opponent the gold burst to build that meter. Mm -hmm. Very, very cute. I mean, this is a really, really cool matchup, in my opinion. You know, we've seen a lot of uh, Kid Dracula and Lurie playing it out in this matchup. CPU as well, a great Faust player. Yep. But, I mean, this matchup in particular, oh, no, we're going for Command oh, yeah, Rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> the mental stack in the, in the round star is going crazy. There you go. Yep. But, I mean, Faust has such good anti-airs. The 5K mm -hmm. is so, and the 2K as well yeah, are just so potent. Yeah, 5K, I feel like, is the magic button because it because not only does it cover high, it covers low. And, you know, Eno yeah. wants to go for either stroke or the jump in or the dive kick. So, yeah, 5K it, or 5, 2K, sorry, is the magic button in this yeah. matchup for Faust. But still, Eno does have answers. You know, she's got, like, she can poke you from a distance with chemical oh, love. Yeah. Uh, she's got a whole projectile for some yep. reason. Yep. <laughs> a whole projectile. The dive kicks plenty of ways to approach and attack this Faust. So that way yeah. they can't mindlessly just throw items. But here we go. Here we go into the loser's top eight right now. Speaking Big conversion. Kicks, immediately Ooh. starting off with that TK, J2K from the Faust. Jumps right, and jumps right over the trumpet, making sure that they make sure that it doesn't give much advantage. Here we go. Fortia chips with the stroke. Um, and we're finally going to get the version and the burst right there. Many Faust on the board. Oh, boy. I didn't know it was 2v1. Oh, reversal beats out the command grab there. Nicely done. Trying to get a back dash in. Now you're in the Eno blender. I mean, this is one of the things. Eno is so juiced this patch. 
specifically the consistency that Eno brings out now, they're practically Kai with Mix. Oh, yeah. They're always getting those super consistent combos with the Mad Love Agitado. It is such an impressive uh, change that this character's undergone. And the Red... Yeah, and, and the Red Wild is also, yeah. also another, <laughs> it's also another boon for them, as you can see. And we... Sh oh, not... I, I think they meant to super there. I'm not too sure. But Knight Persona, both a round down and health down. The burst is not baited, unfortunately. Oh, oh just 60 is right through the HDL. Yeah, honestly, sprinting at the Eno is sometimes just the best option for you. You can sneak underneath that HCL and sometimes get a good counter hit as well. Finding some good neutral options here, though. Tortilla chips on the offense, and what can you say? Sometimes Eno just hits you. Yep, and, and it, it looks like uh, Knight Persona, You would like I would think the Faust player would be the one on, on the defense and the neutral, but he's actually the one running right at Tortilla chips. So yeah. um, the thought process is a little uh, different from what I expected. Owen dropped the conversion right now. This is going to give Tortilla Chips a chance to close the gap. He's trying to leave themselves a little bit more plus on the Oki situation, but there he goes. Some stroke of Big Tree coming in, getting a little bit of a whiff punish, but... Back. And item throw, and we're going to see... Oh, whiff 6-H right there. Trying to force Not their right way in from a questionable distance with the, H, with the stroke of Big Tree, and we're going to see a burst. Um, Night Persona's been getting a lot of hammers from these item tosses, but they haven't really been the kind of hammers that you want to see. Hammer's an incredibly potent item. Here's a mini Faust. Well, never mind. There he goes. Yeah, yeah, a mini Faust on the other side of the screen. Does not <laughs> want to play the 2v1 game. We're going to see a Roman cancel. I think Night Persona wanted to YRC, but uh, actually gets caught on startup. Mini Faust looking for his Nintendo Switch, wants to boot up some Animal Crossing <laughs> right now, is not interested in this Guilty Gear Strive game at all. Nope, wants to play the party game. Oh, we're going to see, the, uh, yep, the, yep, the cancel on the super, and does get caught by the stagger pressure. Now, one hit for basically for both characters right now. Um, Eno's definitely better at converting than Faust is, but still, uh, and Night Persona trying not to get caught by the Ooh. HCL, but um, Tortilla Chips, mental stacking pretty good right now. Go, uh, playing at full screen. Just trying to get you out nice. Klinex with the far slash. Really, really good neutral coming in from both players. Got down to that wire and was just like, all right, we got to lock in. Neither of us have meter. <laughs> neither of us have burst. Yep, One of us has to actually get some neutral done here. Yeah, just finally sends the far slash and sends it again right there. Trumpet is out. Is he going to grab it? Yep. And now it's going to send right persona, right persona right to the skies. And Tortilla Tips going back to full screen, uh, but still trying to make, make sure the uh, approaches are ambiguous right now. Oh, but unfortunately, Dak is right into the corner. This is bad. Immediately burst out as well, but get put back in the corner. Trumpet is in. Faust actually gets to pick this one up rarely. Going to be getting some free plus frames. The tap dust is going to be getting punished out. Oh, the, yeah, and then stroke the tree immediately bodied. And Night Persona does have meters, so we're going to see it. This a, might kill. I, yeah, I believe this is a kill. Eno's kind of on the lower health side. Oh, that, that beautiful face. Get up Smash. the calculators. There it is. <laughs> Very Ouch. nicely done. Knight Persona getting on the board, tying us up 1-1. One, one. Really good stuff. Who needs mini fouls, right? Yep. That, that guy, get him out of here. I'll do this on my own. Let's see if we see that J2K once again. 2H is such an eSports button. For oh, yeah. <laughs> 2H. Oh, my goodness. That button pays rent. All right, Mini Faust once again coming in. Time to play the 2v1 game. Uh, 5D whiffs, but guess what? Mini Faust is right there to cover. Yep. Talking about whiff gunshots in this game. More talk <laughs> about whiff Mini Faust. Yeah, right? Oh, yeah, please. We got to be talking about the real problem. Arx is back room, please. Uh, <laughs> we need to talk about Mini Faust. Oh, the trumpet right now coming in. Tortilla Tips holding down back really well, it, but gets top of the instant overhead. This might be death if they can break the wall, but unfortunately tries to jab on Wake Up, but just gets smacked right there. Yep. That's going to be another round for Night Persona. I mean, defense is so important, but it's not all about the blocking, right? You can block all day, but you cannot actually get your blocks off forever. Eventually, yep. someone will mix yeah, you, someone will or get they'll just up. build infinite meter and chip you out. Yeah, right? th this, is this, to this is Guilty Gear, baby. Yeah. You're going you're gonna to get opened up. Everyone everyone has offense of some kind that's messed up. Yes. That, makes, that makes you go like, dude, how do people lose with this character? Your <laughs> <laughs> defense has to be focused around how you're actually escaping your opponent's offense, not just blocking it out. And Eno is a great example of that, right? Yep. You, if, if you're playing against Eno, if you're blocking, you're losing. Like that's just the nasty truth of it. Mix, mix, mix is actually going to land there. Yeah. Ooh. But okay, we have a knockdown. What's it going to be? It's going to be a close slash. For Chiefs, probably caught uh, mashing on wake up again. And a 2K. Um. They're trying to jump out, but we're finally going to see a super. But it's hard nice blocked punish. and punished. Nice stuff from Night Persona, who's going to be on game or set point right here. Yep. Optimal punish as well for Knight Persona. Getting a little item toss in there, even though you didn't necessarily need it. Good yep. to keep that muscle memory tight. Many many fouls were there for moral support. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> many fouls just watching at this point. Many fouls trying to get some commentary started. <laughs> the hammer right there, and thankfully it, the cool slash is blocked. Yeah, you've got to burst that. That was going to be a full combo. Yep. Still took a clean little 40% there for your trouble. Yep, and Tortilla Chips uh, really... 
having Tortilla Chip struggled in order to get in right now. The Trumpet just making that even harder right there. Mini Faust is once again there. <laughs> Mini Faust is everywhere in this set. Yep. Big counter hit as well in the corner. Knight Persona looking to take oh, this. Oh, wow. Home. Okay. Going to be getting a try little to, bit of a Try to set up a Bombo, but doesn't even need it. All right. Knight Persona uh, set point right here in the, in the loser's side. Uh, Far Slash once again doing wonders along with the 2H. Torchita's nice. not too sure what to do on the approach. And then it's going to get sent to the corner with the mix, mix, mix. The flex shields their way out. Got to be careful about the bomb. Oh, okay, yeah. blocks it, thankfully. Oh, Played meteors. Oh, boy. Time for the 50-50. Actually blocks out the 50-50. Not too shabby. Gonna be right. And right Persona with 50 some meter, but this should be a wall break. And with Torchita Chips having... 50 burst. It's going to be a knockdown as well. Okay, so this is good. This is what Tachia Tips needs if you want to get this offense and game plan started. Absolutely. Oh, but we're just going to go straight for the super. Yeah, try to go for the throw on the wake up there, but the bone crushing excitement going to be coming in from Faust and plenty of damage. Night Persona, or sorry, Tortilla Chips still a positive bonus, though. They got full meter to work with Command Grab. Oh, okay. I mean, it is invulnerable at the very least. It, it, it definitely a is. Bit of time. Um, but still, they're on one health over here. Gotta be careful with the bomb. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, the oh my God! I thought the banana was gonna kill them. The Actually. banana almost comboed into the bomb there. There we go. Oh, whoa! I think that was supposed to be a teleport. Yeah. Stroke the big tree does not find its mark, and finally, finally the JD's gonna seal it. it. Night Persona staying alive in this loser side. That is unfortunately gonna be the end of tortilla chips. But still, a top eight performance. Still Absolutely. very formidable right here in this regional here at a very, very fun bracket. Next up, I believe we're going to be having Haruko and Mega Man 567. Mega Man 567 had the pleasure of commentating earlier over in the Street <laughs> Fighter side of things, made it in the top yep. eight in two games. You got to love that. You got to yep. love a multi-game talent. To those of you who say the commentators can't win, by the way, <laughs> <laughs> now Mega Man is in top eight right now. I believe they are on Soul, and Haruko is one of the people that sent me to, is the person that sent me to losers on the ABBA. Yep. So we're going to see what happens here. Um, Soul Abba, both characters do one thing very well, and that's damage. Yeah, that is <laughs> just, yeah, they do a lot of damage. Abba has been a really interesting character. Kind of came out, people were feeling the feeling the pain points of her kit for sure, but once people started adjusting to that resource, mm -hmm. adjusting to some of the neutral situations, has really, really skyrocketed yeah. in the strength of the character. And, and it's honestly like your Abba is only as good as your normal mode. Yeah, but still, Haruko on the normal mode still showing that they are very formidable. Managed to make it all the way into the top eight against Mega Man, who is coming up. No, not coming up to the stage. Yep, there oh, yeah, they, yeah, there they are. Coming up, coming right up to the stage right now. So we're going to see what happens with this ABBA versus Soul Bad Guy. Like I said, uh, the, the hurdle is making sure that Haruko does not get caught in normal mode or even or even like burst it out in Jealousy yeah. Rage because uh, that resource, that meter, is pivotal to the character. Absolutely. As opposed to Soul Bad Guy, who needs one counter hit, you're done. Yeah, if you get forced to take that mask off because you ran out of your resource, you're in such a rough situation. You have to navigate the neutral. Not that Abba's normal form neutral is honestly all that bad. Got a pretty cracked 5H. Mm -hmm. Got some really scary buttons for sure. But you still have to put in that work to build up that meter again. But if you do manage to take the mask off yourself, mm -hmm. you get so much of your meter back. You right. can just infinitely loop your resources into wall splat after wall splat and these key grabs going crazy. Mm -hmm. and, we, and we all know once ABBA does get going, it, it's uh, really hard to stop. Uh, to put it very lightly, really hard. Yeah, like let's hear some hype from yep. the crowd, for sure. Haru yep, Haruko with fans in the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> very good stuff we've got here at WSU here in Wichita. We are are going to uh, We're getting a stage counter pick. Stage? I didn't know we are playing Smash, you know. And a music counter pick. Oh, random. Never mind. I like the random song. The random song is pretty good. I oh, I, okay. Is, uh, um, I'm a liar. We're going Chip. I'm a liar. Okay. I mean, Chip is just ABBA, but with less health, less speed, <laughs> less damage. <laughs> less damage. <laughs> um. <laughs> You're making it sound like a completely different character. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, actually, I was just fully expecting the ABBA. The ABBA very strong, but we're going uh, Chip, Chip Zana. Or is this a button? Yeah, it's a button check, of course. I mean, listen, the metagame of the button check goes a long way. You know, you sometimes swap to a different character. I know um, I have a Grand Blue player on my team who, whenever they do button checks, they button check on Yule and then they swap to Narmaya <laughs> every time. It gets people off guard. Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, whenever I do a button check, I hit random on the character select. Mm, yeah, yes, yeah. The, the, button, the button check meta, guys, you've got you to gotta understand it. <laughs> you can respect your opponent. We saw that gold burst coming in earlier. You can sometimes disrespect your opponent. We got some command grabs coming in earlier, too. It's, yep. a, it's a good time to kind of get into your opponent's head, kind of see what they're vibing with. 
some people, I mean, it'll shake things up just as much to just like do a different color than you normally do, right? <laughs> and sometimes that's enough. Like you make your opponent take one step in the wrong direction and you can start doing, uh, start applying that mental stack even before the game gets started. But we'll yep. be getting in here. We are locking in the ABBA. Yeah, and okay, yeah. So I, I was right. Haruko uh, taking a bit of time to make sure they have the perfect track in their headphones. Yep. But uh, the music very important, guys, by the way. The music super important if you want to win these games. And like I said, we are going to have ABBA versus Soul Bad Guy in this loser's side of the tournament. And only one of the people is going home right now. Yep. But still. Round one of losers. Here we go. An aggressive round start from the ABBA already in the Rage that, that, install. That, that, by the way, that conversion was actually really sick. They converted the 5P anti-air right into the car, a key grab. That was actually really nasty. Yep. Oh, and the instant overhead oh, going to get smoked. Man. Yeah, the fuzzies here. We're taking so much damage. So smart there with the resource management. Took the mask off, went out of the <laughs> Another install, instant overhead so that you into the Dunzai. Seven in. golden letters for Haruko starting off. Huge stuff coming in for Haruko. That was oh, no, this is oh my low goodness. crush is coming in. Rough. We are in install, overhead landing again. We're going through the wall. Once again, goes out of the install to get that meter back, yep. back into the install with a key grab through the wall. And they've got almost full jealousy meter, too. This is horrible for Mega Man, actually. Oh, oh you better plus. block this. This is plus like 10 million. Oh, and then no. it's an overhead. And Mega Man has not gotten a hit so far. Gold burst. If you're going to burst, it might as well be golden. The Gun Flame finally scoring a hit here. But no, oh my accidentally God. canceled. Haruko. Oh, my goodness. Oh. That is why he would send a statement for game one to anyone watching. Holy crap. <laughs> that is ABBA in a nutshell. You cannot make a misstep against this character, especially when they're being piloted so efficiently like Haruko is right now. Incredible stuff. Yes, that, that is actually exactly how you want to start your loser set. Mega Man needs to look really deep if they want to find an answer, but unfortunately not going to find it as the 2K clips them, and we're going to see another conversion, but it's thankfully burst their way out. And it is currently... 1-0 for Haruko, I believe. Going to have to burst out. Does manage to take the uh, install off just in time here. Oh, a little bit thank thankfully, Mega Man able to play a little bit of some more honest neutral against the, against Haruko right now, who is not in jealousy nice. mode. And we're going to see a conversion thanks to the tap dunk. Here oh. we go. Oh, but drops the wall break combo. And wow, the 5K actually clipped in time. RC is going to save your life there into the install as well. I believe we might be going straight through the wall. The overheads, they're so fast and they're so hard to avoid with this character. Yep, and, they go, and it goes over lows, guys. Uh, yeah. Arxis, hello. <laughs> uh, yep. Uh oh, time to block, buddy. Frames. Maybe an overhead again? No, it's nope, a low it's this, this time. time. Yep, this time it's a low. The conditioning is also there. Mega Man apparently three rounds down as opposed to Haruko, who is on a sweep, on a tear right now. Yeah, I like really like what Haruko's doing here, using that super to mask their approach. You are super plus, especially when you're in the install with that super. Donzai coming in. Do got to be careful using the Donzai. It's very potent. It's calling out a mash out option, but you lose about a third of your bar when you every time you Donzai. So yep. you have to be careful with it. Not to mention, but FD and it's not, honestly the situation isn't too bad. Mega Man right yep. now does have a turn, and Aruko with no burst. Okay. Look at the damage on the HDP. Huge pickup as well. We're gonna get a reset. Uh oh, the 60 does not find its mark. This is uh, about two more guesses from Haruko maybe. So Mega Man finally getting started. Oh, but the reversal throw. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Another gold burst here. It oh comes. my god, That's that gunplay is going to get absolutely nice bodied. Uh, but thankfully, we have meter to get out. Yeah, you got to pay the tax there. Oh my goodness. Okay. Do we Ooh, get this map? is going to hurt. I think you're dead. Uh, oh, yep, he's, yeah, he's no. gone. That's going to be it. Yep, yep. He traps. Even if you weren't dead, we were an install on the other side of the wall. <laughs> like, yep. you know, uh, we got that uh, ugly situation regardless. But now we have, speaking of ugly situations, it is now 2 0 for Haruko, who is cooking. Yeah, Haruko doing really great so far. Definitely going to have to try to find some answers here to this ABBA. It's just so scary. Going for the high crush, once again, using a little bit of more passive round start for Mega Man. Uh, I think Me also Mega Man trying to dash block against this uh, very angry ABBA right now, but it's not quite working out. Yep, trying to find one more interaction. Did this is the situation we're talking about, though. Abba still has some normals to work with here, but ha does not have the ability to go into their uh, install. Until I'm done saying that sentence, and now they have half meter. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and also had to block both of those guard crushes. Um, thankfully, does find a grab, and we got 50 meter. This could be the nice. Bandit Revolver minigame. Uh, oh, what a Ooh. shimmy on the throw. And yep. the HTP going to do so much damage. This should be enough to get the kill, but doesn't quite convert the way they needed to. Haruko, no meter to save themselves this time. Going to BRC back just in time to get themselves a little bit of that bar back. 
and blocks the top. That's we're going to see a Fafnir 1 HP, nice. and that finally Mega Man putting around on the board in this game three. Yep. Real fast on that 2K, recently buffed from Soul Bad Guy. Trying to find some better interactions here. Is going to have to figure out how to navigate around the normal mode ABBA. Oh, oh yeah. no. Oh, gambled the, possibly gambled the entire round on a DP right there. Yeah, this possibly. Is scary. Full and meter and a key grab through the wall just to make sure we save a little more. Yep. Once again, Delcy meter completely full. So this is not very, looking very good for Mega Man to keep this round. And we're going to see a conversion. Full meter on Haruka's end. And look, BRZ 50-50 can't do anything. Had to block <laughs> two overheads that time. Wow. Overhead, overhead. Is it a high? Is it a low? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? It's a crazy lady with a <laughs> key, apparently. All right. P potential, potential final round of this set. As Haruko, uh, both characters with full burst, and into the corner we go. The counter hit for Soul Bad Guy. This is a lot. Uh, another Sagra pressure proven pretty good against Haruko. Is about half HP. 6 feet not going to lead anywhere. And we're just going to be pole vaulting right over all the buttons. Just going to be FDing Soul out of the pressure there. And once again, just keep sending on this low crush move. It's doing so much work for you. Oh, the air throw gets absolutely bodied. This what very well up. could be death, actually, for Haruko, who's going to... Okay, Mega Man blocks the overhead, but no punish or even challenge, it and that's going to be it. The 5K <laughs> is going to seal the deal, and that's Haruko taking the set 3-0, yeah. and unfortunately going to be the end of our favorite commentator <laughs> in this set. Be beautiful stuff for Haruko. Again, the wherewithal to even in that game-winning combo went out of the install to finish the game there, right? <laughs> had had a full bar of meter yep. for the uh, Jealous Rage install if the happened to not kill, which we all knew it was going to. Mm -hmm. But awesome stuff. That's all yeah. of our round one matches for top eight so far. We'll be getting into some round two action. I'm Pariah Dogs. We're joined with Yato mm -hmm. here. Yes, sir. And we are having a fantastic time. Yes, I yes, think yes. The, the matches so far, I think we've got a taste of just about everyone's characters so far. Mm -hmm. We've got some scary May action. We've got some scary ABBA action. This ABBA in particular, I think, is looking very terrifying. I think Absolutely. if you haven't been labbing this matchup in particular and you're kind of looking at the rest of your bracket patch, you're a Ginjo right now, you're like, ooh, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> let me pull up the dust loop real quick. What's the, what's the data on that overhead yeah. again? And it, it's just crazy because, like, you, you know, you, you ask around, like, hey, man, how do I beat ABBA? This character's pretty crazy. And yeah. everyone just says, oh, just block the overhead. Right, <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> So like, what, like, what, what even is there? Like, it's objective survive when you're playing against this character. That's what it feels like sometimes. Exactly. And I'm sure Mega Man got the full brunt of that right there. Unfortunately, going to be on their way out of this tournament. But still, like I said, top eight finish. Nothing to sneeze at. Absolutely. We're going to be getting Cavite versus Knight Persona back on stage. It's going to clear some devices off of the uh, Bluetooth settings. Always make sure to clear your devices off of your uh, PlayStations, especially when you're at these majors. Nobody wants that situation where somebody accidentally pauses somebody else's game, especially in these clutch top eight matches. Oh, yeah. T yeah TOs, we love, T the TOs love wireless controllers. Oh, yeah. A absolutely. <laughs> no, no problems caused by them whatsoever. For sure. All right, but now it looks like we're going to have some Faust versus May action coming in from the loser. Once again, from the loser side. Should be the Testament, I believe. Uh, yeah. Oh, never mind. My bad. Okay, Testament versus Faust. Yep. Testament versus Faust. An interesting matchup. You know, got a lot better this season. Uh, Testament, having the uh, not having to worry about the Grave Reaper cancels, can spam and win a little bit more at mm -hmm. full screen, which is always kind of one of the most divisive things is, uh, with Testament is like, you know you're not going to win at melee against just about anybody. Yep. But if you can't win at full screen against a character, you got some problems. Yeah. And by the way, you guys, if you couldn't tell, my co-commentator is a or a testament player, <laughs> if, you, if you guys couldn't tell. I, I do love me some testament. They they were my first fighting game character. It's always been a blast, and I'm super stoked to see one here in top eight. Yeah, it, it, but it, but that ultimately it just comes down to you know like both both characters playing full screen. You know what what's worse, Faust like throwing items or Testament shooting a crow onto you and, and cursing you. Yeah, so absolutely. like it just comes down to what's worse. Yeah. 2H for Faust, a very scary option here. Testament does have a round start option against the uh, 2P round start that Faust are so well known for. So we will get to see how aggro we go. Looks like both players are going uh, headphoneless this time around. Yep. A brave choice. Chip, Chip Steam playing. Council of three, of course. And we're going straight in. A nice dive kick into the into the Mix Fix conversion. Still no wall break. Oh, the got meter is out with the 50-50. Cavite does get right and get a gets a 5K anti-air. Then not Night Persona blocks. We're going straight in. Many Faust is on the board. Time to play the 2v1, but thankfully jumps right over it. Yep. A little bit of mix here with the dash in. Just completely avoids the Mini Faust. Yeah, Mini Faust coming in a little late. Here we 
go. The classic oh. testament corner pressure. We're going to reset here. Oh, nice wow. mash. Kind of brave mash, but a really nice one nonetheless. Oh, but the, the teleport does find its mark right there. This would be Cavite. Shot right into the corner and manages to beat the first. Mm. We're going to see a nice punish. There we go. Wild Assault to wrap it up. That's going to be round one. Cavite holding on to half their burst. Night Persona, <laughs> absolutely none to speak of. Absolutely good stuff here. Hitting the bomb in Faust in one fell swoop there. Some three plus frames from their own bomb. We got the crowd popping off for Cavite here on that burst bait. Oh, nice tries to jump away out the corner, but the close slash is actually so potent. Gonna send Cavite into the corner. Potentially one more guess right here. Oh, the command grab, but it doesn't matter. We have the mini Faust assist, baby. Love this character. You were a <laughs> little too plus for your own good on the command grab there. We're gonna get to see the round star option. All mutual six Ps. Yep. Grave Reaper actually beating out the Mix 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 there, and we're going to be getting some Oki situations. Huge 6P, and we're going through the wall. Yep, we're going to see the trophy. Yep. Girls, girls, girls on the screen. Oh, and one more guess for Night Persona right here. Cavite doesn't even need to commit. Could just do something like, oh, but they do. I was going to say they yeah. can just probably use Arbiter Sign and just go off the stain proc, but now they got a burning Afro. Yep. Look pretty I mean, good. Faust is one of the few characters that Testament can actually safe jump in that situation. Nicely done. Oh, and re yeah, we actually don't see the burst right there. Yeah, Interesting. Have the opportunity to burst. Yeah, Faust, one of the slower reversals, but with that PRC reversal, it's just you have to deal with it, right? A lot of people, you can just hold up in that situation. Um, so we're going in. The, we're going into game two, two v one once again. But oh, Watch mini Faust is going to save Night Persona right Dodge there. Dodge the and mini Faust. All right, and oh, Arbiter Sign not blocked. Enemy's got the Succubus down. Uh, Anti-Air right there just in case of a dive kick. And once again, it seems like uh, Night Persona having a really tough time fighting other way out this corner right now. Yep. And Stain proc right there, plus frames. But f thankfully, they do manage to fight their way out with the, with the Fire Slash and the Teleport. We're going to see a conversion right the way into the other corner. Nice XP. Getting the red RC, lots of damage. Harley scaled it all, just Ooh. runs away from the command grab and finds a Fire Slash. Yep. Cavite looking very strong. Cavite looking to keep their run alive here. Night Persona, of course, also looking to give it their all. No, oh, the Arbiter was definitely not the answer right there as Night Persona is set to full screen. But yeah, that, this, this is what I mentioned before the set even began. It's just what's more dangerous between Testament's projectiles and Arbiter or Faust throwing items. So far, it's looking like Testament's the answer. Absolutely. Some scary stuff here, the mix, mix, mix. We are going to get an item. Another command grab attempt, but unfortunately, these command grabs are just not putting in the work they need to be. Fortnite Persona, the Red RC misses on the 2K 2D. That's a tragedy. Yep, and Night Persona, yeah, I knew they were going to see the teleporter at some point. Yep. And now we're going to give Cavite a nice little afro. We're going to see the instant overhead. It is not blocked, and this should be the round. There yep. we go. Really good stuff. Getting those anti fuzzy setups in there. All right. Very scary situation, especially when you get the immediate afro lit on fire. Fun fact, the afro pops based on when it was applied, not when the fire is applied. So it can be a very variable situation for you. Oh, this is going to be huge, actually. You got a 5k ant here. And we're actually not going to spend it for the super or the wild assault. But still, with that massive health advantage, this is still going to be really tough for er, Cavite, who just gets command grab. Yep. And that's going to be it. There we go. The command grabs have started rolling in. The mental stack is definitely here. Once, I mean, once a character starts getting something like a command grab set up, that's when the game really starts, you know. You have to respect these PRC teleports. Yeah, and, and thankfully we're not seeing any blowouts here. This is going to be one, uh, oh wait, uh, we get the point to the wrong person. <laughs> but yeah, thankfully not seeing any blowouts here. It's going to be 1-1 one, one on both ends. Ooh, the scalpel hit. Uh, not quite confirmed off of thanks to the burst. And once again, Night Persona really struggling to find their way out the corner. And 6P go. also to make that even harder. Yeah, they're trying. They're more focused on stopping the Testament's approach than they are focused on actually escaping the corner here. Going to be spending a little bit more time. The Far Slash does beat out the 6P here, and we are going to be getting a nice little conversion. Ah, they didn't time it right, though. And now we have Ooh. Cavite in the corner. Blocks a 6H, but no punish to be found. Not plus, but quite safe off of that Grave Reaper. No 6P coming in. There it oh, is. Stain proc. Stain. And you know who yeah, you know what it is by now. It's the Testament Classic. You get that same stain proc, it's 5k, 6h art, no strobia every time. Yep, and we're gonna see a safe jump. It's gonna proc the stain right there, and the grab's gonna finish it out. Very nicely done. Cavite locking back in. Needs to pick up some momentum here to make sure that they don't have to get taken to a game five. Meteors again. Yeah. Gonna shut you down right away. <laughs> 
All right. Oh, the oh the donut right on top of the oh, afro. That's so just that's so I nasty. That oh no. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're making it work even with the afro. Gonna try to anti air. Nice. Knows that Night Persona wants to jump and a little hungry for the burst right there. But Night Persona not biting the bait. Yep. Setting up some bullet hell with the grave reapers here. Very scary. You gotta be careful when you're in the ah, air. What there we go. The burst bait. is baited. You know what's coming in. Nostrovia. It's yep. gonna wrap it up. The stain proc burst bait. The classic. Coming in from Cavite, two one. The crowd on Cavite's side also. <laughs> yeah, a, a lot of them are a lot of them are cheering for their boy. The crowd is definitely hyped here. Yep, as, as they should be. As Cavite is actually um, even got the momentum here in this game in this game four yeah. right now. Night Persona really struggling to get out of the corner. That's been their main downfall in this set. Oh, gotta watch out. Nice, did not quite fuzzy correctly there for the high low mix. We've got Succubus, we got Crow, we got 6P, but 2H is gonna beat it all. And an aggressive burst from Cavite right there. Managed to get a jump in, we're gonna see some pressure. 2K plus frames, uh, Night Persona does mash out, and this could be a pretty good version yeah. to send Cavite all the way into the other corner. That's a missed input for sure. Ah, uh, the teleport isn't gonna find anything, it does. But Cavite with full resources in order in order to re in order to reverse the situation. Oh. Yep, we're just gonna see the super. Oh, yeah. Went yeah. for the meaty close slash there. The reversal super coming out in game four. That's a perfect spot for it to be. A absolutely. And now Night Persona does get a knockdown, and once again, Cavite trying really hard in order to avoid the command grab, and I don't blame them. That command grab actually ruins lives. Trying to go for a backdash on the close slash once again. We're gonna get a hard knockdown here. Faust with a nice afro for the <laughs> wall break animation. Oh, that's terrifying. Okay, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Full HP as well. You got to watch out for this Guard Crush. Afro gets underneath it, but gets thrown after the run under. Yep. So Night Persona, definitely not out of this one yet. Yeah, but we are going to have the final round here of Game 4. Uh, both players will about even burst them out with a close slash anti-air. Wow. Yeah, really nice stuff. We're going to get to see another big counter hit. Cavite wants to take this from the way from a Game 5. But Night Persona is going to do everything in their power to make sure we get to that Game 5. Oh, and we're going to have a Stain proc. No burst this time. They've learned their lesson until the very end, actually. Nice. Good reactions to get the overhead blocked. We do find a good mix here. You've been blocking the overheads. Now it's time to apply the mix portion of our broadcast. Whoa, whoa, jumped right over the scalpel. Ooh, Thankfully, they got hit with the dive kick at a height that they couldn't convert off of it. And once again, uh, neither player can not really confirm their hits. Oh, oh so no, scared of the no hit, meter. but the hammer saves them. The hammer actually saves them right there, nice. but it doesn't matter. It doesn't oh, matter. Man. Is the scarecrow going to come in from above and even up the set? We're going to go to game five the for, I think, the first time. Yeah, the teleport PRC coming in absolutely clutch there, getting the overhead for the conversion as well. We got some Cavite and Night Persona fans here in the crowd. Rooting on Guilty Gear has been a, a beautiful bracket so far, I believe. Around 50 entrants for the Guilty Gear Strive bracket mm -hmm. this year. Very nice stuff. Oh, we are going to have the anti air and the trumpets out. So Night Persona going to go ahead and take the sky does not want to deal with his own children stampeding the room. Yep. Send him to bed. Go one more time. The and another trumpet. Oh, this is vile. Oh, okay. <laughs> tried to cheese it a little bit. Tried to get the scarecrow back there far enough, but did not. I, I think what it. they were trying to do was make it so the trumpet would come in to give him more yeah. hits, but unfortunately did not time it correctly. Night you Persona actually... gonna burst out of the Nostrovia right there, yep. so but it's still, still stained. Yep. Nice. Still done. Okay. Huge this, and, and as well. Anyone's game, but Night Persona. But with positive bonus, this actually makes it uh, can go either way right here. We're gonna RC. see mix, mix, mix. It's What's going to be the mix? Oh. Oh, are we going to burst the SVR? Uh, Cavite really first. wants this round. Gets the 6P. I don't Wait, think they can kill right here, though. don't quite have enough meter, but look at the chip damage yes. coming in. There Even we if go. you got the block, you were in a trouble. Cavite on set point right now. Both players spending absolutely everything for that round, but it still ends up in Cavite's favor. JS connecting here. A good start. Mini Faust is in the bag. Too many Faust, by the way. Brother and sister. And neither the of them are wanting to play the game today. Oh, oh, this is going to be so much that Cavite has to block, unless they get a oh, throw, actually. Oh, the throw goes through both mini fouls, but this is a huge hit. Three oh. mini fouls, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, listen, sometimes, little Red RC, we are in final game, final, final round. round. Of the loser's quarterfinal right here between Cavite and Night Persona. Both players, neither have burst. We're going to see who wants it more, though. Arbiter go. sign, thankfully, just jumps right over it, and now Night Persona trying, trying to be on the move. Has their back to the wall, so they for sure want to make sure they can fight out of the situation. Yep. Trumpet is thrown. Night Persona's got it coming. And Finds the JK. Yeah, the yeah, and, and the, the burst, burst bait. Bait. coming in hot. 
huge. You know, Strobia is going to be bringing us all the way over to the wall. Do you choose to break the wall or do you offer Oki? Uh, they're not, they're not going to die, but this, this is still really tough for Cavite. All they're going to yeah. do is Arbiter. We're going to see a safe jump. What are we going to see? The oh. super goes right through yep. it. It doesn't matter. Mike it Nash doesn't matter. Arbiter is reversal safe, but not against these supers. They have a little bit too much range, a little bit too much forward momentum. Yo, oh, the but command no grab. Not One punished. More. 5D is going to finish it out, though. That's going to be Cavite moving on in the winner's yeah. bracket, or loser's bracket. Big shake it out there. Cavite moving on. Going to be sending our Faust friend home. Beautiful games from both of these players. Really yep. good stuff. That's as gonna, yep, that's going to be Cavite taking, I think, guaranteed fourth place, I think. I believe so. I believe so. We're going to be moving on. They, we should be going over to, our, I believe, our winner side next as Cavite. Oh, no, actually, we'll be doing our next loser's quarterfinal, Yinja versus Haruko. Yep. And then, yeah. Going so over next is going to be May versus seconds. ABBA. And for anyone previously watching, you know this ABBA is about to put on a show. Yeah. That round one, it, or the, that first round in the, in the previous set was absolutely explosive. Had yeah. everyone in the crowd cheering. So, yeah, we're about to see, some, we're about to see some amazing action oh. from this May. We got some, we oh, got oh, some we rock, got some paper, paper, scissors, scissors on the, on the stage. <laughs> we lost a bracelet. <laughs> and Yinja taking the win on rock, paper, scissors. So they're going to take the player one spot. That is one way to apply a little bit of mental sack. We talked about the button check mental sack earlier. But, yep. hey, a little Rochambeau before the match never hurt nobody. Yeah, hey, guys, you, you just don't understand. Every, it like, doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't just matter what you do inside the game, but also outside the game if you want to beat your opponent. Very important stuff. Absolutely. We will get to see. We've got a fun, fun time here with this May versus the ABBA. Both of these characters, we said it last time, but both of these characters do one thing very well, and damage. it's a lot of damage. Yep. <laughs> it, it, either, whenever you get hit by ABBA or May, you are going to feel it, even in real life. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. We'll get to see. I haven't quite seen it much of this matchup quite yet, but... You know, May has a lot of low buttons that she prioritizes to kind of trick out some of the people. The 2S, the 3K, the round starts of the gods. But ABBA can just kind of be like, oh, no, actually, I'm not going to get hit by those instead. I mean, the, I mean, the good news is, you know, ABBA, like, like in normal mode at least, likes to get in by by uh, going for like hard commitments using the slide. I don't know what it's called. The one that the one that goes under mids. Yeah, the or, one or, or, or the or the or the vault that goes yeah. that goes that low crushes. Has the Thankfully, high crush, though, has the low crush. May has some of the best counter pokes in the game. Like yep. you, they can they can do five H, which is just a big stop sign for anything coming at her. For sure. Or two S does remotely the same thing. So like in normal mode, I feel like to be really hard for Abba to approach, and also and also they can just do the same thing. They can maybe hang back whenever <laughs> we whenever we're in jealousy mode as well. So. Um, I'm sure the game plan uh, for May really is just make sure that you uh, make your hits count. Uh, but that's that's just your normal May, you know. Like those hits always count because of how much damage she does. A little bit of nerves coming in. Yinja being a homie, shaking it out. Say hello to the camera. There you go. <laughs> camera one, camera two, camera three. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, when you're in when you're on top five, who's gonna tell you no? Exactly. You, you, can do what, you can do whatever you want. Smile to that camera. Listen, put on a show. That's what we're all here to do. And that's what HXC is here to do on our Strive stream. Make sure to hit a follow nope. aggressive round starts. Yep, no button check this time as well. Okay, wow, we're just going straight into it. Um, yeah, Haru Haruko taking an early round start, and oh, the 6 feet going to beat the far slash. It's going to be a key grab. We're gonna, we're, what's going to be the mix up right here? Yep, no one blocks that overhead. Not even, nobody blocks that overhead. What are you going to do? We still have a lot of meter left. And then the easy jump in, yep. Quick sweep from You don't even have one. to like IAD. You can just forward jump in that situation and still get a hit. Those buttons are so, so big. Haruko representing that Fred Burst uh, clan tag there. Fred Burst, that's clever. <laughs> All right, but uh, the engine with the knockdown, but unfortunately gets mashed out on. And now we've got a very, very angry ABBA who does get counter hit. So they can actually extend this combo and waste a lot of time in that jealousy meter. Awesome stuff. Getting through. Gonna have to find a spot to take Ooh, the map. the vertical off. dolphin gets absolutely stuffed by the 5K. Yep. Getting some of that meter back. We do have a good chunk of meter and positive bonus here for Yinja and with the wild assault. I think we're gonna find it. Not quite. Uh, it doesn't One quite wrap moves. it up though. But the three, <laughs> but the 6K is gonna go ahead and do it. Fun little 6K coming in there. One round for both players as well. We're gonna go to the final round of game one. 5K. Ooh. Uh, 6K, nothing quite really happens there. They have Haruko in the corner oh. in that 5H I was talking. Oh, and the burst bait is not punished, though. Yeah, not All right. quite getting the punish. A little bit harder at those longer ranges. Speaking of some damage, we're getting some good stuff. You saw that counter poke with the 5H there on the uh. JD. I think that we're going to be able to find a kill here. BRC just to secure it. Nicely done. Yep, nicely done by Yinja. He's going to take, take first blood here on this loser's quarterfinal. Yeah. 
you get some really interesting situations in this matchup. You know, we mentioned that Alba has the command dash forward that's invulnerable from the knees up. You could potentially use that while into a May Dolphin and kind of come out with a weird frame advantage potentially. Yep, I think that's potentially, uh, yeah. It, yeah, if maybe if you're like towards the end of the May of the May Dolphin, because yeah. May Dolphin we all know is active for too long. For <laughs> sure. Okay, 5H. We're to trade with, I believe, a far slash, and we're going to see a knockdown. Here comes a very, very angry Abba. We're just going to gold burst right out, though. Oh my god, I think that was JH. This is going to be mad damage. And do a reset, actually. The cross up is not blocked. Now, Yinja does have full meter, but still, this is a really. You can good. red RC here and still get back into it. Oh, okay, never you get mind. All that meter back, you're still wall breaking. All right, and, and this should be, and this is, I believe uh, Abba's got a access to a safe jump here, so what's going to be the defensive cool. option? That was definitely meant to be a super, and it doesn't nice. even matter. Even with all that meter, Yinja gets murked in that first round. Yep, ruko has got to shake off some of these nerves, but is making a great run of it so far. Absolutely showcasing what this character can do. Just look at that conversion. All the way to the corner, does get mashed out. That May 5P is a scary button. Uh, uh, yep. And oh, okay, but okay, interesting. Oh, so, so we have a burst, and Haruka with absolutely zero jealousy meter. This could actually yep. turn out really bad for forced, Haruka right now. Forced out of the jealous rage. This is a scary situation, and May basically has the run of the show. Even with the amount of meter that Haruko has, he's gonna have to work hard. Uh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're, yeah, we're, yeah, we're yeah. moving. We're moving. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I think Haruko mentally just knew. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> my, this, this round is a little too bit tough for my one. a little too tough for my standards. We're gonna <laughs> go to the next one. You know, I mean, listen. Some Whoa, people, what a five H! Oh man, yeah, uh, you got to be careful in your dashbacks. The Abba five H is absolutely huge, even outside of the install. Got to be careful with that deflect shield too. Abba can just ignore that in a lot of situations. Yep. And, and also, you saw Yinja trying to use JD to just stall in the air, but Abba's two S does not care whatsoever. Here we go. Okay, we got, okay, we got plus frames, guard crushes, uh, May. Um, fighting their way in, gets a, gets a pretty good hit on Haruko, but it's not quite enough as Yinja, at a pretty strong health deficit, does find the Dolphin, but uh, Haruko trying to chase May around right now. A, a lot of the movement shenanigans playing Just out very well for Yinja. He's going to take Haruko all the way to the corner. This yep. might be a kill, the but the burst! Out. Haruko now has one last opportunity, a little bit of meter, a lot of oh, meter actually, actually now you're looking Yinja. at it. We're potentially going to be going into install here and finds it. It gambles it all on a mash, but it's not going to work out. Ginja gambling on green and <laughs> gets, what, gets what they deserve right there. Absolutely. Listen, sometimes you got an Ava running at you at literally the speed of sound. You got to just pick a god and mash. Yep, pretty much. Good stuff here. Tying us up 1-1, one, one, shaking it off, getting into the next game. Get a little bit of mental reset here for these players. Yeah, that is now a best out of three set as well. Both players, I'm sure. The nerves are racking up because uh, this is for a top four finish. The 6P going to whiff. And Yinja, uh, again, the, the movement is just way too good for normal mode Abba. She is slow as a tank. Until and that install hits and all of a sudden she's faster than Chip. Going to be rolling around at the speed of sound here. Positive bonus going to mean you take less damage as well, even if you do get punished for one of these whiffs. What an RC. Yeah, the, the, the overhead that nobody blocks. Wow, just wild 6P. And Yinja does not want any of that. Even in normal mode, say, that's my turn now. Okay. Also, the, uh, the the dolphin hop as well. Actually doing actually doing wonders for baiting out the anti airs from Haruko, who's going to eat a fat hit right there, and oh. unfortunately tries to wake up on a mash, but it's not going to work out. Yep. Yinja going up one. That meaty close slash coming in, doing tons of good work for you. Oh, and the the, aer the aerial movement, like I said, doing wonders for Yinja, who whiffs a five H. And Haruko trying to keep the corner, to the corner, but oh my goodness, we have, they caught oh. the back dash with the close slash, it's going to be so much damage. What is Look damage? at the health bar! Oh what just no. happened? Abba is not a squishy character, but May will make anybody look like this. You m might mistake her for blushing, but it is just red damage coming in on that bar. Finds the air to air as well, though. The Kara into the Donzai, resetting into Oki. Overhead lands again. Super time. Yep. And this is going to be a knockdown, and Haruko's going to be going to be in jealousy mode. So and just look the, the, at the defensive of option meter. from Yinja needs to be good, but they're not going to block both hits. We have a burst actually, but this is going to get absolutely smoked. Oh, the dolphin it actually ah, hit there. there nice go. Haruko, nice stuff. Finally, go, finally incorporating the low as Yinja has not been blocking any of the overheads. Yep. There we go. 
One, one, one stock down each. Oh, six feet is the dolphin. Nice stuff. And we're going to have a blue waddle soul in the more mix. Probably a back dash. Yep, do it. And we're going to have a counter close dash in the key grab. This is where Abba gets all of her mileage. We're actually going to see a throw. Just add that mental stack on there. Oh, no. And, oh, okay. I believe her could definitely could have killed with the uh, Moraha super. Stretching out there during the super animation as well. No, this is going to get you knocked back. Honestly, that lasted long enough. You almost got punished for using your uh, deflection mechanic there. Yeah, Haruko, 2-1. Two, 2-1 one. Two, one for Haruko. Ninja not out of it yet. Definitely. Someone in the crowd saying 3-2. You know what? I hope it is. I hope this goes to game five. Honestly, we love game fives in this house. Definitely going to be a good one. Both of these players putting their hearts on the line in top eight here at Kansas KO 2024. Yeah, oh, and the H-Dolphin absolutely just murks Haruka right there. We're going to see a combo. Burst bait. Yeah, you cannot burst against May. Feel cannot that burst one against in May. your stomach. Put the burst in the bag. Oh, trying to find something. You're try trying to 6P Dolphin, but you guess what? You get 6P yourself. Always got to be cautious on your approaches against this Abba character. A simple 6P may just be a 6P as some characters, but Abba will turn it into a whole game oh, plan. No. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Do we block? We blocked the overhead, thankfully, but Haruko is on the prowl right here. And we're going to see reversal throw. Nice. Uh, but they're just about out of jealousy meter. We're going to put this all right back in thanks to the 50 meter. <laughs> Are we going to see reversal? Uh... Doesn't even matter. Yeah, the back yeah. dash is enough to finish it out. Reversal 2P. Reversal, yep, reversal 2P. 2P. <laughs> who, need, who, need, who needs a DP or a super when you have back dash 2P? Exactly. Ooh, nice little 2S actually catching there. All right, Haruko having to fight their way out this corner right now. Yinja playing at a really safe range, making sure they can catch any hard commitments caught by Abba. And we're going to have a burst out. Ooh, jumps right over, just right, jumps right under the JH. And here we go. Abba's in there. The end of the key grab, and it is now Haruko's play field. Going to build so much meter here again into the Jealous Rage for the safe jump. Oh, but the safe, the, the safe jump is backdash, and oh my god, gets absolutely smoked by the overhead. This should be enough. Uh, okay, well, we're going to have key grab instead. We're going to have key grab instead. Hey, at the very least, maximizing the meter. Lots of stuff to keep track of, lots of moving parts. We're going to see... Just yep. a classic. Overhead, once again, 2K. not blocked by Yinja. We're going to the final round of game four. Could be game point for Haruko. Haruko definitely wanting to close this out and earn that spot in the semifinals. All right, oh, jumping right over the beach ball. May taking a little bit of time. Just get away from me, please. Big counter hit on the JH. May using some of that tricky air movement. Lots of May close slashes getting back that. These are some brave players for hitting that button there. All right. Oh, oh the 2S actually touches the JH super well. And we're going to have a knockdown. This is Abba in Jealous Rage. The overhead once again not blocked. Yinja against the corner. We're going to see a wall break oh. is what I would say. Yeah. Unfortunately, switch to normal mode. Couldn't quite uh, confirm the kill. Yep. Danger penalty coming in for both players. Both so cautious here. Oh, gets my God. Monster is JD. Oh, both of them playing so careful. Blue Wild Assault, what's going to be the mix? He just says he doesn't want it. He deflect shields his way on out, and he actually puts himself in a negative. He's so Five. scared. 5K conversion here. You lost all of your burst and all of your meter for that negative penalty, but you only need one interaction from either of these players. Oh, no. Okay, here comes Abba. you got to block the nope. overhead. The overhead's not blocked, and that's going to be it. Aruko staying alive. Nicely done. Hugging it out there. It's all love here at your local. I mean, listen, this is the, what the FGC is all about. Oh, it's absolutely. all love yep. between these players. We can razz each other on Twitter back and forth all day. But at the end of the day, when you're at an in-person event like this, it is such good vibes. Mm -hmm. And it is time, I believe, for our finals. We got some ooey gooey, chewy stickers. Yeah, we're probably going to go to the winner's side. We have ooey gooey versus uh, I do not remember. Um, I need to check that. But uh, we got there versus Anis. Yeah, yeah, Anis. So we're going to have, instead of Abba May, we're going to have uh, May versus Angie yep. instead. Angie May is a, uh, I mean, it's a repeat, right? We just saw Yinja up against Ui Gooey. Yep. We'll see if the secondary May will be able to take them out. But Ui Gooey is such a scary, scary Anji player. So consistent. And Anji's got some tricks up his sleeves as well. You know, we got some of those PRC rockets. Yep. The, the, the fish. proclaimed oh Anji dipper, you know, where you yep. do the car cancel into the low mm -hmm. and just hit a low full screen that's like 12 frames. No yep. big deal. <laughs> and also, if you even touch that man while he's spinning with anything, you're getting fished. That means either a guard crush into, into mix yeah. or you're getting knocked down, which goes into mix. 
Absolutely. So, I mean, honestly, I take fish over the, you know, getting the counter hit close slash combos in a lot yeah, of these yeah, probably. situations. Yep. It's so. definitely a scary one. We may be going into a button check here. Remember to always check those buttons, folks. Mm -hmm. Especially when when thir when uh, Winter Side Grand Finals is on the line. Absolutely. Definitely check those buttons. Yeah. You never want to end up in one of those situations where it's like, oh, my kick isn't bound. Oh, <laughs> I, the person who played before me, or you know, or I made a misclick. I actually or there's bound a wireless controller. Punch. Got all yeah. of those. I actually bound my punch to my RC button. Just gotta make sure. Ain't no shame in it. And as I actually just recently learned today, button checks are actually a callback to the classic arcade days because you'd have these kids coming into the arcade, their sticky fingers, they're just slamming the buttons <laughs> on there. So you want to literally make sure that your buttons on the arcade cabinet work before yep. you play your match. For sure. But yeah, they're, they're now, so yeah, like I said, since Winter Side Grand Finals uh, is on the line here, there's also money on the line. So definitely, definitely check your buttons right here. So. Now that that's completed, we're gonna have Angie Vito versus May. This is for this is uh, both players guaranteed. This is gonna be winners finals. So yes, both players. I'm sure would love to take this one home. Ui Gooey, the favorite of the tournament, but we're gonna but we're gonna see uh, if May is able to take him out. Yeah, Ui Gooey has been tearing it up in lots of those major brackets. All right, nice backdash from the Fujin and uh, empty Fujin actually. Oh no, okay. Ooh. Backdash caught up by the close slash. Got to be careful with those. All right, finally catches the Fujin with the do Oh, no. Okay, I don't think that's what he wanted. Now we're going to have a reversal throw into the corner. Ui Gooey with half meter. Yep, he's going to go ahead and spend it. And empty overhead, not blocked. And it's with half meter. Are they going to spend it to get out of the situation? And they're not going to have a chance, actually. Ui yeah. Gooey smacking Anderson in round two. No opportunity. We're getting pushed through that wall. Ui Gooey does not let off the brakes. Maybe a little bit hungry, looking for a Snickers, looking for a break here. Wants to wrap things up nice and quick. Already had 1-3-0 in the top eight. The, oh, wow, yeah, empty overhead right there. And we're going to see a full combo, I'm sure, into the Wild Assault knockdown. There, yep, there it is. That Anji consistency, the character does so much damage. And if, when you get these right, confirms that we're definitely fishing for another red RC. You got to find a spot to burst. You should do it on the Ko. Good yeah. call. The, yeah, the, these Kara, these Kara Ko, or Ka, sorry, Kara overheads are doing wonders for Ui Gooey right now. And that was uh, rough looking for, for Anis. I mean, listen, I'm a simple man. I see Kara cancels. I'm happy. <laughs> we love to see it. The Kara Ko's, the Kara's in these uh, overhead mixes are definitely very scary. And mix up the timing, you know. A lot of people, you'll lab your basic layer one against an Anji so you can get the fuzzy block and get the fuzzy jump in there. But when you're mixing it up with the Kara cancels, it can be a scary situation. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, the more you mental sack your opponent, the better. So and Ui Gui recognizes this. Gonna find a throw. Tries to do an air dash back overhead, but it's not gonna find the mark. Is Anis gonna burst? Nope, or no, no burst. We're going to see a reset from Ui Gooey. He's got the plus frames. Probably an overhead. Yeah, there we go. And it's still not blocking these. But definitely going to have to do just if they want to take this game. Good stuff. Another slash on the screen for you here. Ui Gooey Chewy Snickers halfway already to making it to that grand finals match. Oh, oh wow. Nice uh, check on the, with the 5P right there. Uh, and it's finally going to finally gonna give Ui Gooey the burst. Fujin. Into oh tried to back that check the fan needle but it's not enough. Look at the damage right now. Actually gonna take all the way to the corner. What is that combo? That was pixels away from dropping. What an incredible confirm from Snickers. Yep, and Anis already on their last legs in this game too. We're probably gonna see the bait out YRC or just throw him. That works yep. too. Beautiful stuff. Lots of damage on that throw as well. Might have rounded up a little bit on that. Well, <laughs> somebody check their PC. All right, then no, no, no character select, no deep breaths, yep. nothing. We're going straight into game three. Got to keep sending it. Want to keep that mental locked oh, in, wow. laser focused, but it just doesn't seem like it's enough right now. Ui Gooey Chewy Snicker is looking to run away with it, run up and do a throw. Yeah, into, an, into another throw. She's rolling Street Fighter Six apparently with these throw loops. Yep. Oh, on the five D not blocked. That's gonna wrap it up. This, this is a this is a mercy killing right now for Ui Gooey. Gooey. Seven golden letters does not stop. The only mercy you show your opponents is a quick death right now. All right, into fan needles, not blocked. Anis holding onto the burst, but again, we're going to see some more throws. That 2P tick throw is so tricky because you have to block the butterfly on the way down. No misses this time, though. Yeah, uh, yeah. Anis, Anis getting hit actually came out in their benefit right there because of the frames. And now we're going to see some throws of their own as Ui Gooey pinned to the corner, gets caught by the 5H. This, nice. this is going to be a lot of damage. Oh, no, the wall breaks a little earlier than they probably wanted. Yeah. 
Hard knockdown here. This is going to be huge for Uligui to make a, a 2P mash, actually. Anis needs to make something happen right now as we are on match point. Burst is probably your only option, but the first bait's coming out. Reversal, super! Yeah, smart, smart stuff from Anis right there. Not giving them the burst. That would have been curtains for them in this game three, but instead choosing to use the reversal super in order to make in order to get, finally put a round on the board. And holds on to the burst for this final round, potentially. If you are going to make the reverse sweep happen, the journey of the mm, reverse sweep no. begins with the first round, but this is looking rough. Yeah, what, potential, oh, actually, uh, Ooey Gooey pretty low on resources, but still, this is looking really rough for Anis, who's going to get caught. Uh, this should be death right here. Yep, and the, yep. Yep, and the overhead's finally going to do it. Ooey Gooey taking it with a swift 3-0. Going to be yep. sitting pretty in Winterside Grand Finals. A second 3-0 from Ooey Gooey Chewy Snickers looking immaculate. Has not dropped a game yet in yep. the top eight bracket. Looking absolutely uncontested in this top eight. We are getting on into our loser semifinals. Cavite. Uh, up against, sorry, my page isn't loading, but the uh, ABBA player. It's going to be a little bit yeah, of Cabot Testament State. versus ABBA. There yep, we go. Testament versus ABBA. Oh, and actually, this is going to be a rematch. Yeah, uh, yeah Cavite actually is the one that sent Haruko into, into uh, losers. Very so nice. Hopefully some adjustments were made in between pools and now. As, uh, yeah, uh, I believe uh, Cavite took this one 3-1. Nice. Yeah, we're getting into the, your favorite part of the bracket, my favorite part of the bracket. Winner stays the rest of the night. Yep. If you want the cab, you're going to have to fight for it. It's a good time to be as we get into our top four gamers here. Yeah, and, and I know Haruko personally told me they do not enjoy this matchup. <laughs> so This is potentially. Now listen, I'll, I'll indulge in a little bit of Testament downplay. This is maybe Testament's worst matchup. Testament's worst? Legitimately. Next, like, I, I mean, I pretend the Happy Chaos doesn't exist. <laughs> this may be one of Testament's worst matchups. And you can listen in the Testament Discord. Players like uh, Simpakai. Actually, you know what? I can see your point uh, already. But, it, please, but please tell the stream. It, I mean, players like Simpakai, players like uh, Yoho Spill will be in that Testament Discord telling you that this matchup feels horrible. There is just not oh, a lot that uh, Testament can check, do. Probably. Yeah, probably the budget. Not a lot of the testament can do. You never strive is a game that you don't win as a zoner by zoning, right? Mm -hmm. The zoning is just a tool to eventually get that counter hit close slash that everyone mm -hmm. in strive wants. But ABBA can just kind of wait things out at the full screen. And ABBA, once you get that install, it is just so uninteractable. And you can run Testament down so effectively. Right. We'll and get to see. Not not to not to mention the other factor is ABBA also does have the parry. In, yeah. norm in normal mode, and that's free jealousy meter because Testament ne doesn't necessarily want to be near you unless you're stained. Exactly. So, like in neutral, uh, the parry uh, for ABBA is actually going to be such a big boon. So, yes, like maybe I can understand why this is really bad for Testament, but it's, still. It is a scary one. ABBA's got fast, big disjoints to swing into Grave Reaper with. We're going to get to see here in our losers' semifinals. Check out, follow the bracket at home, start.gg slash Kansas KO. We yep. got some hype in yeah, the yeah. crowd. Yeah, yeah, both players with a lot of fans right now. Both people. And, uh, yeah, and we're going for the classic ABBA color right here. And we're going to go into this, into the, and the winner of this is going to be guaranteed third place. The loser is unfortunately going home in the loser semifinal round start 6P. Uh, oh, wow, it checks the teleport really nicely, but does not confirm. Here we go. Going to start trying to get some of that zoning action in. Nice jumps over the Grave Reapers already. He comes out. Yeah, but, but unfortunately, yeah, th th this is the part that this is the part that Haruko does not enjoy is being in normal mode against the bullet hell projectiles, the crows, nice the everything speed. that Testament can just put on offer right here. So yeah, this this is the part that Haruko does not enjoy. But we all know once Abba gets started, this is a snowball unlike any other. They finally managed to get the jealousy rage. Oh, and sends the K super this, right there. This is one of those things. That seven frame startup super is so fast, it can on reaction punish any fireball that Testament has. All right, and so Haruko, unfortunately, the damage is still pretty swayed in Cavite's favor. Sends the yep. parry, but it's not going to be enough. Yep, on that parry, you do still are plus on the offensive side. So as long as you're up close and personal, you can get some interesting stuff as long as you've labbed out how plus you are to kind of hit quote-unquote meaty after the parry. Yep. Ooh, oh, oh, oh wow, the JK actually uh, actually procs sustain right there. Uh, Haruko in jealousy mode does get a turn right here uh, and finds the key grab. This is what they need right here as Cavite gonna be <laughs> running for the hills, I'm sure, against this very angry ABBA. Gets the overhead, and this could be it. Nope, oh, just gonna go into the normal super, but still this does mean a safe jump in order to continue momentum. 
Yeah, I like Haruka. Always takes those safety routes. You know, you got to keep things tournament safe. You got to keep them stage safe. You do not want to be accidentally dropping or missing your kill by one or oh, two wow. HP. Oh, wow, okay. I, I think they got caught during the jump squat frames right there, yeah. which is why they got hit. But either way, uh, Haruka clutches it out. We're going to round three. 6P catches the, catches the command gash. There's some plus frames on Cavite's side. Oh, we got to see a burst right here. This is going to be <laughs> ABBA all over you right now. The overhead's not blocked, but still, she's going to come right back in. Very, very mad. All right. Oh, you know, yeah, you know the drill by now. Yep. Anyone who's been watching. A little close slash. 6H into the Mistrovia. And now we've got some mixed options. We can do a safe jump. Looks like that is going to be getting back at. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> we got too much slowdown <laughs> happening here. And this is actually really bad for Haruko, who's kind of lacking in terms of the jealousy of meter. The cross-up not blocked, and we're just going to go ahead and reset the neutral right here. But Haruko stained, and in normal mode, almost no meter. This is tough. Yep. This is a scary situation to be in. Doesn't oh, quite wow. get the 6P off. Oh, misses the key grab. That was vital. Oh, but it does manage to find the hit, though. Are we going to see reversal super, or YRC is oh. baited? And, no, and does not get burst in time, so that's going to be game one going to Haruko, actually. YRC blocked out a horrifying situation, definitely having to deal with that ABBA. Ground popping off, as always. Make some noise for your favorite players as they make it through this loser semifinal. Yeah, uh, some plus frames with the key grab, and Cavite matches incorrectly. And now we got ABBA coming in at full speed right here. And we're going to see a really good punt, an excellent punish on Haruko's side. Alrighty, huge damage coming in. The anti-fuzzy mix into the Donzai. Yep. Why not? Go ahead and get the American reset. Yeah, that back got people. absolutely stuffed by the Donzai. Yep, and we got seven golden letters coming in. The low crush, once again, another big counter hit. Cavite is just looking for an answer, but is not finding one. Yeah, you, you, you've got to hope that Sage are not getting to Cavite right now as they're getting ran over by this ABBA. Man, once again, just keeping Jill's reader rage doesn't matter. It's always full. Don't worry about it. Don't ask too many questions. We have to manage resources. In this uh, video you can game. only block so many overheads, in, and you and you can only block so many overheads in your life before you finally get opened up by Ava. The double perfect coming in for Haruko. That is so much momentum. That's so much mental stack coming in. Yep. And now Cavite taking just a second, that, which is what they need because right now Haruko working on a 3-0 against the person that sent them to losers. Yeah. Definitely, the confidence is starting to come in for Haruko. Yeah, well, yeah, with the, with the crowd on their side, I'm sure it's a lot more healthy because uh, right now Haruko, they are stained, they are going to get hit, and we're gonna probably, probably going to see a burst right there. And so. gets, gets caught by the crow, so this is now Cavite's turn in the driver's seat. Uh, but Haruko still playing pretty safe, but does get hit by the far slash. And guess what? Mastrovia is back, yep. ready to play. Haruko picking a little bit, a few too many options against this far slash, not quite finding the right one. Back dashes, only two active frames on that JH, by the way, so definitely a scary situation. Some of these back dashes, Red Whoa. RC up the 6P, I believe, <laughs> finds a kill here. Not quite. Yeah, not, didn't, I, I think they could have converted a little differently if they wanted that kill, but instead we're just going to go ahead. They got all the screen space nice. to work with. Don't overcommit. Yep, yeah, we're just going to go for the Arbiter sign instead. One of the sleeper good options is Arbiter sign. Some of the testament's options are so slow that they do actually beat out the parry at full screen if you're on the right timings. Wow. Overhead, though, speaking of beating out options. Yep, and now we just want to make sure we don't, don't do not overcommit. Do not leave yourself open against this ABBA. Throw the backdash is successful, and now ABBA out of jealousy meter. Yeah. Unfortunately, that mask off situation does kind of give you a free block on whatever mix is coming your way. Ooh, is the super going to hit? Yes. And, and now we unfortunately only have Abba with a, still with only a little bit of Jealous Raid. Nice and here we go, Nostrovia coming in hot. Yep, a fully charged Grave Reaper. Hands off the box for a moment, but we are going to have to reset. Reset that mental as well. We only have one game to go to make it into the Losers Finals. Yes, but even with that said, Haruko down pretty Close. bad right now, but we're going to see extra Jealousy. They only need one opening as his character. Kara Danzai. He's going to take him all the way to the corner of the cross-up. Not blocked. What a comeback. A oh, cross-up there is incredible. Yes, the what a comeback so from Haruko, who was, on their, who was on their last legs right there. Counter hit 5 8 Unfortunately, can't convert off of it. But still, Cavite running for the hills. Gets top yep. with an anti air and has to burst. Yeah, got to burst that air to air. But a huge counter hit coming in right off of it. Out of jealous rage. Going to be going back into it. 6P. Oh, oh, wow, slip right under the far slash actually bit. We couldn't capitalize. And now Cavite once again playing super safe. Oh, I think no. that's a button. 
and there we go. Now, now Haruko's in there. Six P. Gonna see. A, we're gonna, now we need to see a little bit of mix. Oh, yep. playing super safe once again. He's gotta find a way to interact to get the jealous rage out of here. Finds the overhead into the low. Into Haruko. Finally, finally, the kick up. This could be it. Capitate has to guess for their tournament life. Oh, finds a 5P, but it whiffs against the crouching. Oh, no. And Haruko is going to be moving on to loser's finals. Yeah, that, that's a brutal way to go out if you're Cavite with a 3-0. But still, fourth place, you know, we all know that's an amazing finish for a regional of this size. Absolutely. So, but, yep, Haruko going to be sitting pretty in their seat right now. Doesn't need to move as it's time to see who will be facing off against Ui Gooey in the, in the grand finals. Absolutely. Going to be a great loser's finals match here. We're going to be showing down to see who gets the opportunity to try to take on currently 6-0 in top eight, Ui yep. Gooey Chewy Snickers. Thank mm -hmm. you all so much for tuning in here on the H HXC stream. We're here for Kansas KO 2024. Big shout outs to Zawardo, all of the WSU and Wichita FGC crew for putting on this amazing event. I mean, I'm going to be here every year moving forward. Oh, yeah, if you are yeah. in the Midwest area, if you're in the north, you're in the south, whatever, Kansas is equidistant from everything. Exactly, That's yeah. the best part about Personally, Kansas. Personally, I'm from Texas, and I still made sure I paid the hundreds to make sure I can get my way out here, represent, exactly. the, make, represent the locals, because, guys, the production value here at this tournament has been absolutely wonderful. Like I said, they hooked us up, the pizza, the T-shirts, the water. We've been doing uh, great. <laughs> yep, it's been an awesome time. And, and most importantly, the vibes have been immaculate. As we get here, you've been hearing the crowd. You've been hearing everyone cheering yep. on their favorite players. Everyone knows everybody, and everybody calls you friend. Yes, yeah, we're all friends here. It's a, just one big collective Guilty Gear community. Like you know, just because it's not Evo or whatever doesn't mean you, like you do, doesn't mean you guys can't come out. You know, like always support your locals, always support your tournaments. As a Kansas KO, hopefully, will be back next year. And if it is, you'll you'll see me once again, hopefully, Absolutely. on the commentator desk. Yeah, definitely looking forward to it. Had a great time here in top eight so far. Going to be some May versus yeah, ABBA. ABBA. Yep. Once again, <laughs> I hope you guys haven't gotten tired of May by now. <laughs> I mean, listen, I love seeing May in these top eights. It's so rare, really, to see these May players. Slash is really one of the only big May representatives at these majors. Yep. So it's always awesome to see. Yeah, can, can, hardly, can hardly mention May without bringing up Slash name, but here we go. And it's versus Haruko. Yep. We're going to see who is able to take on Ui Gooey Chewy Snicker in the grand final. Uh, is what I would say, but first we're getting button checked. <laughs> I don't think this is button checked. I am I'm not. I'll be real. I think oh, that was okay. just no, neutral. I, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're going right, we're right into it. I thought those JDs from ABBA were like, uh... I mean, listen, I'd be afraid oh to swing into those JDs. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that, wow. that 3k is going to get absolutely smoked. Yeah, what a fast install into Super. Finds a mix-up off of it as well. Beautiful stuff. JD, oh, is that going to be, be safe. Is that going to hit? Oh, wow. Okay, it does thanks to the uh, cross-up. Got kind of kicked back into it. Finds the install here, though. Yeah, yeah th thankfully the overhead is blocked, but the back dash is going to get absolutely smoked. And first blood going to Haruko for this loser's final. Good stuff coming in. Uh, whoa, 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 Anis. Uh, we might have a controller issue. Uh, okay. Okay. Um. Uh. Nice production. A, a, a little bit of a little bit of uh, <laughs> friendliness, letting the uh, letting them test out their controller problem. But yeah, yeah, now yeah. we're back into it, swinging away. All right. But um, either either way, Haruko taking a very commanding lead in the, in this game right here. One round up, and then has the wall break for the positive bonus and all this meter to work with. What the options are here, 100 meter. You can get just about anything game in, in this game done with 100 meter. We're going for the super. We got plus frames. Whoa, whoa. Our seat. We are flying across the screen here. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't even see what happened because of the super. And we really want that burst. We're finally going to get it right here for Haruko as Anis is trying to approach, but nice. eventually just gets clipped by 2K. Good. Not catch. sure what happened on that second round. Anis is looking at their controller up at top. But, uh, you know, this is why we said, do it. This is why we said always do a button check. Yeah, I mean, listen, sometimes a little controller issue happens here and there. That is A-OK. -okay. Hopefully we have everything fixed out now. Especially important if you're dropping that back input on a May, your charge inputs could be getting messed with. Lots of scary stuff can happen. But right now, the scariest thing on screen is this key lady. Yep, going in with install. full jealousy meter to work with, and Anis has no resources, no burst, no nothing. Has to block all of this, but oh, okay, pretty good defense, actually. Finally managed to, uh, find, managed to fight the way out the corner, but then gets opened up. This could very well be death, but 
Haruko choosing for the reset. Yep. Haruko always going for those tournament safe routings. Got to find the kill on the reset. I mean, when you are a character like Ava, you know, you may be able to eke out a little bit more damage here and there, but if you can spend your meter instead to just have a full Jealous Rage, you're going to get back into Jealous Rage eventually. You can use your HP as a resource for the rest of the match. You are sitting pretty. Oh, wow. That, I think that was an anti-air attempt from Anis, but it gets absolutely bodied. And Haruko, still in the driver's seat right here, has the resource lead pretty heavily. And, oh, but then I got the five feet check that come um, for the stagger pressure. It's finally going to open up Haruko. We're going to see a wall break, with the, and we're going to see a safe jump from May coming in. Yeah, lots of damage coming out from this May. Back dashes on the safe jump, finds a 6P. Okay. All right, and we do have a knockdown. And wow, okay, and it's pressed something. Oh, did find a drop here, though. The oh, the YRC! Absolutely it smoked! Incredible stuff for Haruko. Up 2-0, looking to make a clean run through this bottom bracket. All right. All right, so Haruko looking to make a clean 3-0 in order, in order to fight Ui Gooey Chewy. And we're going to have some guard crushes into a grab. Wow, that's the first one we've seen this set. Here we go. A little bit of backdash. More patient pressure. Forced to play in the uh, uninstalled version a little bit more. Tries to find the back throw incident, but is going to get punished for it. Uh oh, oh yeah, counter, yeah, then, then, counter hits left and right, but still no wall break, but Haruko pretty low on the life bar right now. And we're going to see Al Jealous Ray Jabba coming in. Uh, Angus, yeah. As you right. see, though. Oh, oh, wow, okay, that was a, <laughs> a gamble and a half from both players. Yeah. Oh, and the 5-H catches, and and tried to bait the burst again from Haruko, but, but Anis not biting. And Anis does not want to burst here at all. You want to be able to just close this match out. No OTG. What's going to be the mix? Yeah, the cross up. And finally, and it's putting in the lead, finally fighting from the lead right here. Here we go. Trying to find some six Ps. Haruko knows they just need one stray hit to make the win con happen. There it is. And, on the and, and there's the stray hit. The back dash is not successful. The burst is oh. baited hard. The burst was red yesterday. And we're going to see a key grab in order to break the wall. You can go ahead and keep that burst. You can take that home with you. You got to put in the bag here. 2K, 2D yeah. once again. Red RC, you are absolutely dead. Going to a potential final game for Haruko. Yep. So, yeah, this is this, once again, grand final set point, or lose the final set point for Haruko, who is once again on a tear. The 2K is not confirmed off of, unfortunately. The 5H, the trade is not looking very healthy for Anders, who's going to find a Dolphin. Now, this means Haruko is finally with their back to the corner, but finds a pretty good combo, and this is going to be a lot of jealousy. Anders has to block. You gotta find an answer here. The overhead comes through. That was not the answer. Down backer spotted in the middle of the screen. And we're back right to full jealousy. Now Anis does have resources to work with, but this is still the definition of dangerous. Is the burst gonna be baited? Or oh, we're just not gonna burst at all. And Anis taken down by Haruko. This Alba is looking ferocious. Yeah, absolutely. Haruko making a tear through the loser's bracket, and we are going to be getting into our grand finals. Haruko versus Ui Gooey Chewy Snickers here. Yep, this is, this is, yep, and now finally, after, after all these sets, this is going to be the one that's for all the marbles right here. Haruko on the extremely strong ABBA. Yep. It's been largely, it's been largely 3-0. As soon as they get one turn, it's potentially over, but we are against the Titan, the seed one of the tournament, the favorite, Ui Gooey Chewy Snickers. Walking, yep. walking up to the stage right now. And yeah, this, this is going to be an absolute slobber knocker on both ends. Yeah, both absolutely. players are going to need to play absolutely careful because ABBA, once she gets started, it is probably GG. Yeah, <laughs> but if any player has labbed out against this ABBA to be tournament ready, it would be Ui Gooey Chewy Snickers. We're going to be getting into grand finals. Make some noise for your favorite players, y'all. We'll be getting into grand finals here. Haruko versus Ui Gooey Chewy Snickers. Guilty Gear Strive at Kansas KO 2024. Yep. And uh, I, are we going to see a button check or are we going straight into it? I'm not too sure. Are we going to put the fist up? Okay, yeah, we are going to get a button check before we go in. Just a little intermission. But, yep, so uh, I, guess, I guess in the meantime, uh, let's talk about the matchup. <laughs> Yeah, Something. yeah, I mean, I definitely think that uh, the Anji spin may be a really potent tool here. The ABBA does throw out a lot of uh, kind of gaps in their pressure, does throw out a lot of those, like, frame trap scenarios. Yep. I mean, I mean, I mean, it's just like how in any matchup works. Like, uh, ABBA, you know, no matter what, she's going to be swinging. 
with the uh, with the hops and the and the uh, command dashes and and also her really big normals. And if any of those get caught, because like Ava does have noticeably like longer whiff recovery on her normals, yeah. so if any of those get caught by Angie Spin. They can straight up just get punished by like yep. close slash or anything that he wants. Yeah, you're and not so worried about fish in that situation. You're worried about the close slash yeah. counter hit getting sent all the way through the wall. Yeah, yeah, like the long recovery is unfortunately the price you pay for such big normals. But still, it, um, not, but one really good thing that uh, Abba does have is downside because you yeah. know it goes it, like it doesn't care about the spin, doesn't yep. care about even the reversal super. It'll, I'm pretty sure it'll go straight through it. But here we go. Abba does have some really potent punishes though. If she does manage to block yep. the overhead or the low is just able to go real far with it. Yeah, and the opening gamut does go to Haruko, but Ugly quickly turns it around, and the overhead is not blocked. This should be a wall break into a Wild Assault. Yep, absolutely. Wild Assault through the wall. Hard knockdown. The Anji is doing the Anji things, and I mean, honestly, we kind of take that. Let the round reset. You get some of your Jealous me meter back. It is probably oh, a wow, better look situation. That, look at that 6P. They're beating the 5K from so far away. And plus frames, oh, actually, no. It, uh, we're going to have another wall break combo, Wild Assault once again. And Haruko uh, needs to get their feet on the ground here if they want to try and fight the Sanji. Oh, that throw was, okay, so the throw was whiff. All right. Back throw incident. Losing that JD. Hasn't been able to get into install a single time and yet. The burst is baited. Put it in the bag. And then we're going to take the all the way to the other corner. What's the reset going to be? It's just going to be a little shimmy into the cold slash. That's going to be game one. Ooey Gooey looking to wrap this up really quick. Has not has yet to drop a game in this entire top eight. Yeah, hasn't dropped a game entire top eight. Judging by how Ooey Gooey is playing right now, I wouldn't be surprised if they haven't dropped a game in the whole bracket. This is a very scary character to be fighting right now. Oh, nice, nice air nice air to air. Oh, my Incredible goodness. What a conversion. Punish. And that's what we're talking about, getting those good conversions into the install. But it looks like the spin is actually putting in work even against the install open. Yep, and we're going to send um, – I'm not sure if this is going to break wall, but either way, this is going to be quite a bit of damage for Haruka to hold right now. And they have no defensive option other than the YRC. I actually caught the butterfly. I was not sure about that one. All right, and Ooey Gooey once again running for the hills against this angry ABBA. 2P check. Should wrap up the round. Yep, just a conversion off that classic little 2P check from Anji. Nicely done. 5H through the wall to maximize the damage just a little bit. You're a little worried. All right. Um, so round two, Aruko fighting for their life right now for sure. But this Anji is moving a little too potent. We're going to see a burst. No, it just, it just jumps right over to Ui Gooey's approach. Nice and we're going to have a knockdown. Okay, what's the, what's the option going to be? Ui Gooey does not care. Jumps right, just, just jumps right out of the mix right there. We're going to see the K Super. And this, this is actually like plus 10 million, so. Yep. Plus enough to drink, certainly. Dodges the overhead here, manages to jump out, but didn't get a punish. Now you've been forced out of your install. You're going to have to work hard to build that meter back up. Yep, Harugo's definitely still fighting. Uh, I, I, this is one more touch away from death, one more touch away from certain doom as Ui Gooey fighting for the life in this corner. Oh, throw. no, but we've got a back throw. This is not what Haruko wants right now. And the overhead's not blocked. This is probably a kill because the Angie's damage. Unfortunately, the tankiness that. of ABBA is still not enough. Perfect, clean routing from Ui Gooey Chewy Snickers. Going up 2-0. One Haruko. more game, and they get the trophy, the money, the glory, the everything. Absolutely. We're going to see if Haruko manages to fight back. We've got plenty of glory to give, though. Haruko has had an amazing run. Nice IB on the 5H. Knows their Angie counterplay. Is trying to make it happen here, but Ui Gooey is just looking so clean. Yep. Haruko has a lot to get over right now, but will potentially be able to. Oh, nice IB. Oh, nice IB able, able to get the throw right there because they go straight into jealousy mode. The overhead is blocked. All the overheads are blocked except that one. <laughs> Ui Gooey is not falling for some of the more classic tricks here on the ABBA. A shimmy. Finds a throw. Right, right into a throw. Dangerous situation. You all know about anti throw Oki and how strong it is. The 5D is not blocked, but there's no combo off of it. Oh, just infinite pressure right now. Look at the risk oh, gauge the and the 5P. 5 feet tap. Just going to wrap that one oh, up. 5P anti air. Now on match point in grand finals. Ui Gooey Chewy Snicker could potentially be taking it all home right here. Yep, and gets a big opening with the spin on the round start. The burst finally comes out of Haruko, who's probably on their last chance if they want to bring this one home. And we're going to see a big opening with the Nagiha into the super. This is looking like curtains for Haruko right now. Super through Haruka has one more opportunity to interact here. Has to find something in the Jealous Rage. The mask off is going to be coming momentarily, but going straight back into the 
install. This is where you want to be if you're going to make it happen. Boy, the 100 right. meter, this is going to be enough. Ooey gooey, chewy Snickers and with yep, the optimal. That's going to be a wrap. Ooey gooey, absolutely uncontested in this top there eight. There we go. Wraps it up. Yeah. Does a pose on the stage as they Take deserve the pop it. Off. Wow, you earned it. Yeah, it absolutely deserves in order to flex on that top on that stage as they dropped absolutely zero games in that top eight. What a monster. Very nicely done by Ooey Gooey Chewy Snickers. An amazing Guilty Gear Strive bracket. We've had such a great time here at Kansas KO. Yep. And I I'm sure, but I'm sure we all know the crowd favorite has got to be Haruko. Managed to Absolutely. battle their way all the way into second with the ABBA. Normal mode, jealous mode, does not matter. They've been threatening all the way, and Absolutely. the crowd has been on their side, screaming on their toes. That's an absolutely incredible performance by them. Yep, very good stuff. I believe that we're on our way to wrapping up for the evening. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Make sure to hit that follow.